I can't read. Anyway. I don't have my glasses on. Now, I thought of that. I thought of that. I'll explain it in a second. I thought of the fact that you are not able to read. Yo! What's up, everybody? Got my pa here. Got my son here. Mm-hmm. We're going to be doing no... I forgot he was coming into town today, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> well, I forgot yesterday when I told you that I'd be streaming Hollow Knight today, so we're mixing it up. That's my glasses. Where are my glasses? Oh, yeah. I'm not, not going to wear them anymore. You might need them. Do you want to wear a cool hat? Us. You can wear the bankrupt hat. Yeah. Question hour. We got an Enron hat for you somewhere if you need it. <laughs> Everyone's excited. It's funny you can't read because they're all saying nice things about you. Uh, music is on. Oh, is there ominous music? Oh, there is. <laughs> I forgot I left the ominous music open. <laughs> I can't see either because you got the microphone. But yeah, well, you know, we got to make it work. I like the Can new, they hear you? I like the new angle, the new camera angle. Yeah, the angle's pretty nice. <laughs> I guess you're talking about that so much. Like, Everybody loves a, the angle. Who gives a crap? That's a great, that's a great question, Dad. It turns out some people <laughs> in the chat do. About the angle? Yeah. By the way, the angle is the only reason we can have two people on stream now. Otherwise, it'd be... Oh, yeah. That's good. It was paid. I didn't pay my father to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he de surprisingly, he doesn't pay me shit. <laughs> you surprised? Yeah. Why would I pay you? What are you helping out with? Paid advertisement. He's an actor. My dad visited today. We went and got big sandwiches and then fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Racked out. We drove, I don't know, ten minutes to oh, a sandwich you place. Funny. So I, I just <laughs> my, we went to this restaurant. My aunt, who lives uh, south of here, mm -hmm. give away. Yeah, um, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ari always says that she comes in. You want to go to the local pizza place? Address, uh, name. No, no. So she says go to this place. Can I say the name of the restaurant? No. Well, because we didn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she goes. Just don't say. No. It. She said go to this. Go to this uh, restaurant. It's called Hats. Mm. All right. It's called Hats. Hats. And, uh, yeah, get a little closer. Oh, sorry. Uh, go to the restaurant called Hats. And uh, for some reason, I had my mine top hat. So we went to a different restaurant. And it's a, it's a chain, so there's many of them. We went to Tops. <laughs> and so I just wrote her, hey, we went to Tops. It was fantastic. She goes, do you mean ha uh, Wait, Hats? She, so she. We went she to the wrong restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> But how funny is that? <laughs> that one place called Tops and one place called Hats hey, that's so both dumb. have the whole morning. It was like my your aunt recommended this amazing sandwich place. It's so good. It's called X. We went to the wrong one the whole time. We're like, yeah, this is great. That's the wrong one. It was the wrong name. We, yeah, it's the wrong place. But is that amazing that both of them would have great? Pastrami yeah, sandwiches? it was a good sandwich. Maybe we're just easy to please. I mean, it was just a lot of food. That's, that's it. True. We oh, just passed out, by the way. Gluttons. We were gluttonous to this meal. Yeah, that was good. Uh, speaking of gluttons. <laughs> nice transition. A little tequila for the boys. What? A couple of shots. So what we're going to do today is called No Stupid Questions, a segment that I created entirely by myself. <laughs> First one ever invent it. Uh, where anyone could ask any question. It's mostly supposed to be for like... So I get a lot in my chat as people asking super basic life questions like yeah. what are taxes or like what, you know, just basic stuff, but they don't know where to Joe ask Biden. it. Joe <laughs> Biden. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not, it's not a Democrat Republican thing. It's whatever president's in office. Mm, keeping me down. Keeping you down. Taking your hard earned cash. Yeah. So we're just going to answer questions like that. And if we don't know the answer, we'll drink. Oh. And then we'll try to figure it out. Because well, a lot of... You can Google it. Yeah, that's, that's what we're, we're going to do. We're going to Google it. Heart. They can't figure out that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, all the questions they ask, most of them can be solved with a quick Google search. But they don't do it. So... Because oh, they got us. Yes, yeah, so they got us. Better. We're like, we're like uh, live-action Alexa. Exactly. That's the crazy thing. With <laughs> humor, though. Alexa, <laughs> first thought she didn't understand the question. She gets you an answer to the question you didn't ask. Bitch. <laughs> Oh, she drives me nuts. <laughs> Not to mention she's fine. Dad's been on for five minutes calling Alexa a bitch. Uh, <clears throat> all right. 
Should we'll, we do a shot just to kick it off? Yeah, let's do a shot to kick it off. Right. You want to pour? Yeah. No, I'll pour. I'll, uh, you're the senior. Yeah, that's true. Can I remember last time we had that Korea really style. cool uh, gin? That purple gin? That was good. Oh, yeah. That's like Ari stuff, though. I don't want to waste it. Giving it to your dad is not necessarily <laughs> wasting it. Yeah, but It's she, an honor. I mean, there you go. I'll Korea. give you the... It's a sake thing. Yeah, well, we only have two shot glasses, and one of them's from Fireball Fridays. I don't have to worry about your alcoholism. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Mm. Chat, you all. <laughs> I feel smart. I'm ready to answer questions. Did you ever see that Fireball Fridays we did? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I saw it. Did you see it? Yeah. How much Fireball did you drink? <laughs> <laughs> You're throwing them back, aren't you? <laughs> the room. Ooh, I might have told my dad that some of those Fireball shots were apple juice later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because uh, we were we set it up so it was like Fireball Fridays do a shot every time you die in Minecraft, and I was on like. 30th death and I was like I gotta I gotta figure this out I'm gonna... well, that, me that was back when I was still working I was still at NVIDIA like I had to go to the job the next day your 21st birthday in South Korea they Korea. know that one they, they know the Korea story uh, let me see if I can turn the gain up or something just so everyone can hear everybody alright just grab the mic and pull it towards you alright you should give your dad an Enron hat yeah oh, you should have an Enron hat just for the brand hold on talk to the chat you can't read them try. I can't read try it <laughs> One thing about old age, kids, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you get wiser, uh, but you can't read, and, so, and then no one listens to you. Uh, I wish. Uh, so one of one of the chat guys works with me at Raytheon, and so he, sometimes he um, direct messages me, DMs me at work talking about Atrioc. It's just kind of fun. So if anybody you're at Raytheon, other than the one guy I know, feel free to, I don't work that much. Yeah, I do. I work hard. All right. Well, this is, Swap it in. Is this a fresh one? No, it's no. not. Good Lord. It's lightly used. Are, are you going to make new ones? Uh, maybe. This is kind of wet. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. That's a good hat. All right. That's a good hat. That's a well used. Oh, it's um, All right. Let's go. Let's go. First. Were you telling him? Wait. Were you telling him the Raytheon? Yeah. So there's a guy at Raytheon. Do you guys remember chat when I told you about how my dad like uh, yelled at the apartment lady to get me and my college roommate oh, yeah. hardwood floors? <laughs> you got. <laughs> well, apparently one of you is an Raytheon employee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of you in the chat is already the unemployed because you heard that story and then texted my dad about it, saying like, "Good job on getting your son hardwood floors." Call but... me a hero, actually. <laughs> His words, not mine. <laughs> so I don't know which one of you words. fucks did that, but I uh, don't say that. That was a nice guy. Mm, works at Raytheon, makes missiles. Can't trust them. You know. <laughs> you I wanna, shouldn't have to. Do you want to trigger my dad and start talking about Raytheon and missiles, dude? Um, the missile that I worked on is a defense <laughs> missile, right? And you can do your little kill vehicle thing. And you get all up in your tree hugging. Yeah, kill, kill, kill. It, the kill vehicle is designed so to true. kill the other vehicle. I'm feeling patriotic right now. Can we yeah, all raise our... Yeah, I've also our... seen you salute with your left hand, you fucking moron. It's such a disgrace. Such a disgrace. You're only one shot in. <laughs> No, but I'm saying it. Like, I see you all the time. Three one shot. This. Yeah, yeah. That's wrong. Wait, it's, you know, I, it's the Atriox Seven salute. All right, it's different. What? <laughs> no, man. You, mm. I mean, you weren't in the military. I was. But you were around. <laughs> I was. I served this Brandon, country. I Brandon, served this great country. Oh, I Atriox Brandon. <laughs> he accepts. Military discounts. <laughs> no. Yes. No. You took, well, that you was like to... one time for one story when you the person was no. insistent. You... I'm not... <laughs> you yeah. You're a hero, that sir. All the time. <laughs> Let's get one more shot so, going. I'm like, where this is heading. Um, he said, thank you for your service and offered you a military discount because you're dependent ID. 
and yeah. you took it. Yeah, sometimes you have to. I really, I, you know what? You ripped me away from my school. I had to go to Germany. That's serving. All right, I did that for Bush. Oh, really? You had to go to Germany and live on the Rhine and I drink wine and I, yeah, yeah. Well, I was, well, I was eleven, Dad. Oh, so I, oh, I, oh, so sad. I didn't drink that much wine what? on the Rhine when I was eleven years old. But I do get where you're headed. But you drink more than zero. <laughs> Bad parenting is what it is. Well, I try to get your culture. Anyway, it's not about our stories. It's about these questions for people that need help. Yeah. We're okay. Have, this is like love line. Uh, no, because I am under 50. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I bet your chat will make the difference. <laughs> my dad watches too much of my stuff because I was we were at lunch today talking about um, Oppenheimer and I was telling him my opinion on it. And he's like, yeah, I heard your, <laughs> I saw your fucking video. I already know. I was just repeating the bits that I already did in the fucking. Yeah, it was kind of a boring conversation. <laughs> you know, who's the well, you can't wa If you watch all the video, I don't know. I... I heard that story, Dad. Oh, okay, my good. God. Good movie, though, Oppenheimer. It was pretty good, I will say. Okay. Uh, all the right. Question? Here's the thing. So, here's how the question's going to work. Oh, you got to do random? No, we're not going to do random. Oh. Um, here is a good one right now. We'll start with because you're a you're a 30 year no 20 year veteran of the Air Force. 30? God. It was Were 30. you even there? It was 30. It was 30. It was 30. Yeah, it was 30, 30 years. 32. 32 years serving this Dedicated country. Service. Mm-hmm. And uh and so we got a question about that from yep. JD Streams. I'm gonna open it and then watch this. We're gonna going play it. On year, oh, Wait, here we go. Going on year eight of being in the Air Force and plan to stick it out the full twenty. How did you keep motivated and not burn out? I'll take this one. I think uh, so. <laughs> uh, can, is, was he able to chat? Is he able? I'm just curious what he does. He or she? It's he, I guess. It's probably he, but you can keep oh, yeah. it neutral. Uh, they're they're year eight of being in the Air Force, and they want to stick it out for the full twenty. I got twelve more to go. Yeah. How do you keep motivated and not burn out? Uh, yeah, it would help to know a little about what they're doing, but yeah, you just got to look for new adventures. I was a air battle manager by trade, ABM. ABM. Um, I, I didn't fly AWACS, so well, that's pretty much what most ABMs do. Um, but I did ground tax and then I just look for other opportunities outside of my, my primary career field. Have to kids. That'll, that'll mix things up. Only people I want to have kids are Brandon and Ari. <laughs> And they have <laughs> failed me. We have a dog. Yep. I love that dog, too. You do. Um, so, that. yeah, my number one is, is uh, sounds lame, but keep it fresh. Don't keep doing Wait, the same thing. What's a sheet metal troop? Do you know what that is? Sheet metal. We probably put sheet metal on uh, aircraft or it might be even like uh, That's HVAC. That's what he said. He said he's a sheet metal troop. Is that bad? Is that, no. That sounds miserable. No. I mean, you're working with metal you, and you're uh, fabricating... Each piece is unique. <laughs> I mean, he's almost an artist, pretty much. I mean, could you do that? <laughs> Fuck no, you, you can't. Um, yeah, I, 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 if you have the opportunity, I mean, I everybody. Like subway manager talking about sandwich artist. No, I, listen, I'm no, sure. No, sheet gotta... metal. So, mm. so, so, some piece of metal that has been mm. built, like, say, for a car or whatever. That's probably a bad example. Okay. But say the some part of the car gets ripped off and it's no longer usable you have to go there and replace that piece and they don't have that piece so this guy sheet metal guy has to replace that part and so it's 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 an individual it's like the space shuttle tiles man each one is different so i mean that's to be able to do that okay but they're burned out so maybe i'm just i'm empathizing here and thinking empathizing. maybe they're not super happy well it's so a lot a of it troop. a lot of it to me is uh i like deploying and I don't know, the plane is probably down right now. Um, but that's like moving to new places. No, no, that's PCSing. Okay. Were well, you even there? I'm, I'm trying to keep the oh, chat. Okay. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So <laughs> deploying, if you go to the desert, go to you know any other place, the camaraderie at a deployment base mm. is is great. I was, you just you get a tight because everybody's homesick, everybody misses their family, everybody's miserable together, and there's some camaraderie in that. Um, and then if you don't like the like if you're you know, stuck in like Yuma, Arizona, or some crap hole like that. That's where Stans is from. Sorry, Stans. Fuck. Sorry, Stans. Yuma sucks. Yeah, Yuma's terrible. Anyway, um, Satan's and, country. Yeah. Uh, the other thing too is, 
Um, I'm imagining that if you are a sheet metal troop, uh, you're not an officer, which that's great. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. But I mean, challenge yourself. Go get a get your education. Mm. I know Brandon's always talking bad about his ASU education. <laughs> Ungrateful <laughs> son of a gun. Um, My dad, I want you guys to know, <laughs> ASU grad and proud, yeah. as am I. We are Sun Devils, ride or die, fork them. We're the fork. Hey, and Big 12, we're in the Big 12. We're in the Big 12. We're in the Big 12. We've Breaking destroyed news. the Pac-12. Anyway. Uh, Harvard of Southwest, I always call it. Uh, it's a stretch. Uh, that's what they call the, it. The Pepperdine of Arizona. All right, well, we'll, we'll call that question answered. Uh, so I, you're, I that feel, person is set. Okay, I hope you like um, it. What Keep about? challenging yourself. Don't expect them to entertain you. Entertain yourself. I mean, motivate yourself. What about this one? Have you ever thought of disowning Brandon? Have you Multiple ever thought times. of disowning Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> you have a well, shot for that one. <laughs> I'm answering hey, it. Hey, oh, cheers. Woo! Uh, so this one, this one was kind of serious, but <laughs> he came back to the fold. When we were living in Arizona... Okay. I was stationed at Luke, mm. I think. Anyway, you were looking for colleges. You were looking for colleges. <laughs> okay. And your girl, yeah, you, we were in Arizona because your girlfriend at the time was going to U of A. Yeah. The devil, the devil's college. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Sun Devil. <laughs> Satan's college. And so I, you were like, hey, I'm, I'm looking here, I'm looking there, I'm weighing my options. You had a full ride scholarship to Barrett's Honors College, mm -hmm. brand new dorms. I mean, it was cream of the crowd. It was, it was fantastic. How you got so lucky to get in there was beyond me. I mean, you're a smart kid. You are smart, and, and you did apply yourself. <laughs> and then you were looking down at U of A, the Dirty T, which I used to refer to it as, mm -hmm. and you were looking to go to U of A. I think, you know, and I said, look, man, I, same thing. I just want you to be happy. Go where you think you're going to be happy. You can go to U of A or ASU and make your own decision. I'd be so happy. I'd be so glad. You were, if, you, if you go to you Arizona were laying State. it on real thick, a lot thicker than that. You're acting like you were. Uh, I was above it all. I was, <laughs> you're like Wilson from Home Improvement no, or something. I said, "Hey, you were like, you no, go, you were like, you go where you want to go. <laughs> I hope you go to Arizona State. That'd be great. If you go to U of A, you're dead to me. Yeah, I was gonna tear like." piece of my clothing but i did end up making uh you made the right decision. definitely the right choice you made the right choice and then you uh, get to meet ari yeah so it worked, worked out pretty worked great out. so thanks you're welcome uh, <laughs> <laughs> you owe your whole life to me did you was i um so i forget how the whole timeline works mm -hmm. was i born when you were at asu right you had yeah. to go i, had to, you I had was to go to, still yeah wow i was i remember holding you as a baby in line to register for classes <laughs> You've been a burden to me since the day one. I I just I honestly can remember thinking I am effing this up. I should have I should have graduated a long time ago. I took me a little while. So I another thing, if you guys are in college and struggling to get out of college, you just don't know if it's worth it. It took me eight years. To graduate college. Got it done. You in, you in guarantee. I'm telling you. We'll get it done. Doesn't have any get, little longer. Get right? your girlfriend pregnant, <laughs> and that is a motivator to get out of college. That is for sure. I was like, all right, okay, time to quit screwing around. I got to get. Um, he gets it done. Yeah. That's what you so, can count on. I got it done. Uh, uh, good question. Let's see. All right, you can just type see, Honestly, in chat. no way. I'd never disown Brandon. I love, I love Brandon and his brother to death. Yeah, Zach's all right. Jack's fantastic. Um, He's still a younger brother, so I get that. But <laughs> <laughs> having just want to diss on my two younger brothers for for waffling on me this weekend. Why does your dad have more hair than you? Ooh, that's you not check true. right now. That's not true. That's not true. It's and actually not I, too far his, off. <laughs> his uh, yeah, I'm also forty years older than you. I'm not twenty years old. But uh, yeah, I, we got that from my grandfather. No hair. Bad jeans Bad passed jeans. down. My dad, my dad has more hair than the two of us put together, probably. Does he? Yeah, he's got a pretty good head of hair. Good for him. I'm gonna repour this. Yeah, but I think I think like care too much, you know. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's all the stress, you know. <laughs> all the stress. Looking out for your family. We we not missed a question yet. You just keep pouring. I just think we got a drink, you know. All right. Um. Uh, okay. So I don't. Yeah, that's a that's a that's actually a bad question because I don't have more hair than you, and I'm I, I'm. You know, I got a five head. 
Oh, on a forehead. That's a joke. Uh, it's a pun. No. First of all, it's not a pun. Second of all, everyone already says five head. Oh. But you got to say nine head now or something if you're trying to. Uh, what's the, nine head. Dude, there's a lot of fucking military questions. Well, good, because that's my specialty. Yeah, but I'm, that's going to be all. Uh, get one more military. Let's do a couple military. Uh, and we'll one get more it. military question. Let's see. Well, let's do five uh, more, but we'll do uh, one. We'll how do. does this work? No, this question's about. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, what was your rank in the military? You can ask that one. I was a colonel. Full bird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a joke. I mean, uh, I was, but people a like. Full bird colonel. People say, oh, you're. I'm like, yeah. You know what I am now? I'm a civilian. So nobody, the day you retire, nobody gives a shit what you were yesterday. No, they wouldn't have hired you at Raytheon if you didn't have military background. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, you're they, telling they me, me, wait, you're they, telling they, me. They brought, no, so the HR department mm -hmm. or whoever, there's oh, the military probably knows something. He's probably, at least he comes to work every day for 30 years. Yeah. Um, but as far that. as. The nobody cares now that I was I was uh, um, in the Air Force. You were telling me your dream though, paint shop. Yeah, you want to work at like you were saying like Home Depot, paint shop, paint shop. <laughs> yeah. No, because I because anyone in chat work at Home Depot that can talk yeah, about it as dream. No, can anybody? Can someone please tell me? Anybody at Home Depot? This is his dream. Look a brother up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can get it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, they probably want to bring me in there uh, and make me the lot guy to bring all the carts in. I'd yeah, have to work my way up. You got to work your way up to paint. Paints well, you know, can you imagine? It's like, hey, I'd like, I'd like to paint my house, and I want it to be the color of this P, mm -hmm. right? And so you get the little computer, you match it up. You want that glossy, flat, whatever. And so, so <laughs> that sounds so boring. So it's, uh, it seems pretty easy. It's all technology. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying just thinking about it. That sounds so boring. But you're making somebody's day. They're happy. Oh, I got the paint <laughs> no. on. You ever met an American consumer? Someone's going to come in and be an asshole. They're going to be an asshole to you. Right. They're going to say, oh, this it's not <clears throat> this color. You made it this color. Oh, sorry. My, hey, my mistake. <laughs> let, me redo, let me redo that for you. Because it's not my paint. I don't give a shit. You mark the paint down. You put it in the, on the red rack. And they come out and get it. And you make it the guy. And then his problem solved. Nah. That is an easy problem to fix. It's, I mean, it, that's the worst day. A guy comes in complaining about his paint. Oh, yeah, but what? Tough what day, buddy? Is, let's, make another, <laughs> let's make another gallon for you. Let's get you. You're on your way. feet all day. Well, you, you know, you're gonna be walking uh, around. That. I would lean against the counter probably. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be a cool guy. I'll be a cool guy. <laughs> hey, you want paint? I know. You know, <laughs> paint. Move your around back. <laughs> <laughs> we got the good paint. Actually, keep the good stuff. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll that's see. one of my. That's one of my. I won't say a dream job. I had my dream job. It was in the Air Force. I, yeah. I, was it, were you were happiest in Germany? That's where I felt like you were like the you were the big I, dog. You had a good team. They I all liked you. Commander, man, I, that was by far the best job. I mean, I had so many great people working with me. Just, I mean, friends to this day that I still talk to, still still hang out with, and yeah, that was phenomenal. And, and, and so when you, it's like if you were a high school football player. I would use that as an example. It could be anything. Where you kind of peaked. I peaked as a squadron commander, and then I still had, I don't know, almost 10 more years of Air Force service to go. Not quite 10 years, but I had a ways to go, and I knew it would never be that good again. And right. it was good. I had great times. <laughs> you know, my, my third job in Germany, I just traveled Europe all the time. And yeah, the, you did that. You gave mom had it good for that oh, last yeah. one. You guys just Sugar's Nickel, man. That was <laughs> fucking awesome. Was that Trump? <laughs> Which no, that, president were you? That was that? That was Obama? That was Obama. You're taking Obama's money. That's why we couldn't afford health care. My dad was on trips. I traveled all over Europe. Thank you, America, for... Cheers. Here we go. Oh, we did quick. There you go. All right, three shots. See, we get some good questions. Let's see. Is this your credit card? It looks like it's heavy as hell. Oh, do not show any of that on stream. <laughs> Please, yeah, it's a... That's a cool credit I'm not, card. I'm not putting a number out there. Yeah, just be careful. Four, zero, zero. With the... You see they have the... <laughs> it's got Maya on it. Oh man, that's pretty cool. That is cool. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I spilled a little bit. <laughs> oh, pretty... here's an interesting one. All right. As the son of a military father who did a number on me, how have you two worked slash mended your relationship? Your father did a number on you. I don't feel like you did a number on me. We had angsty teen period, but I never yeah, felt like yeah. nothing, nothing that's, that that's crazy. Not... 
Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that's specific to the military. Having a stressed father-son relationship. I would. I mean, the military might have contributed. That could have been a, any kind of job, though. I mean, there's salesmen, truck drivers. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, you're away, but I, I don't. Yeah, it would hard be hard for me to, if without more specifics, to know. Uh, yeah, but I, I know, but I, not so much you. I know you went to two high schools. Real tough. <laughs> but, okay, well, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, all different schools. Lie, lie. Not, lie. not true. Seventh grade, where'd you seventh go? Seventh grade, Kansas. Okay. Eighth grade, Virginia. Ninth grade, Virginia, but a different school across town. Be, you different... graduated from eighth grade to ninth no, grade. But Everybody went no, to no, a different We didn't go to the same school. No, you went. You all went, the junior high kids that I went to went grade. to the close high school and went to the far one. Because you were advanced. You're goddamn right. <laughs> That's not my fault. Oh. You're goddamn right. Be stupid. You're That's goddamn stupid. right. Be stupid. But I saw so new friends. New friends, seventh grade, That's eighth not, grade, ninth grade. That's not my fault. I'm not blaming you. I'm just yeah, saying. You're, so you're putting it out there. <laughs> So in ninth grade, tenth grade, you want you to sound defensive. Well, you sound defensive. I didn't blame I've heard you. This shit stuff ah, before. you sound defensive. You sound like you're taking a taking umbrage. I can, umbrage. <laughs> college word. Zachary, uh, your advanced bro- easy clap. Your your, uh, your brother, he went to high school. Mm-hmm. He had three different high schools, all based on me moving. All all my fault. And the worst one was he moved his senior year. That was tough. So, I mean, that's... Senior that, year is a tough time to move because nobody wants to make new friends senior year. And, and he didn't. He's like, I don't give a shit about <laughs> these people. I mean, I remember him like, being home on Friday, Saturday nights. Yeah. Just chilling. And I was like, oh, this, I mean, I, that sucks. That's one thing I, I will never be able to repay him for. And he doesn't, he doesn't like, hold it against me. He holds other things against me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, I mean, I, that's like a guilt I'll never get rid of. Like, I just can't believe it. Oh, he's just, fine. It's, I mean, he's fine. Zach's course. living the dream right now. But I feel bad. All he I'm does like, is man. smoke weed and do people's accounting. <laughs> he does gummies. He's a money manager that does fucking 20 MGs a day of edibles, dude. He's, <laughs> he's running not, the game. You know, somebody might be actually... I have referred him more clients than anyone. I have gotten him some big name clients. Well, I don't know why you don't go with them, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> Personal choice. Uh, next question. Next, next, question, question. next question. Next question. Who did that? Who was the football player that said that? Next question. Chat. If you can answer, who said next question? Who 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 asked? Uh, next question. Right? Who's a Seahawks player? If anybody cares. And I hate the Seahawks. Yeah, Chad, I said it. I hate the Seahawks. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> What's your you social hate? security number? Phase or something. Is that something a real to... question? Yeah, it's a real question. You One, two, three, it? four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we're old enough. Uh, can you? Uh, Where is Virginia? <laughs> did you love your son less when he was bald? Did you see me when I was bald? When you shaved your head when yeah. you lost that bet? Yeah. Uh, that. Yeah, but at least his hair grew back. You know what didn't grow back? His skin where he got that tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> For the people who came in second place. Get your foot out of my face. I'm just showing them. Yeah, That's yeah. a great tat. It's a great tat. It would have been better if they won. Maybe. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. It's a better story if they lost. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a good story. Um, you love her something? That's when he's bald. No, of course. I, I, can, I, I can't judge him. I'm going to be... <laughs> Dad, question mark? Yeah. Twin? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We got, we got a bunch of these... How long? How long did you sign up for? A, when did you ever, I did sign up for AARP. AARP. Did you? Yeah. How? How do I sign up for a get old? <laughs> and then it's like you know five bucks a year. It's really cheap. And the, <laughs> one thing I like about it, Brandon, we don't need to do this bitch on stream. <laughs> uh, you get a discount at Denny's. I love Denny's. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the most insulting things you ever said to me. So ever I see a dude, I think of you and mom. What kind? What kind of? common is that you like denny's i do like denny's you talk it up don't <laughs> yeah, but that's like why well, denny's reminds me of you what do you want me to say the the four or five seasons <laughs> yeah, when I see you guys that. like denny's so i saw it reminds I, I me of you well actually you know we're actually getting out into more restaurants in tucson so denny's is kind of tucson's been glowing up food wise food wise yeah. oh, so it's also been burning up it's hot as hell as balls uh thoughts on retirement you're not there yet May 3rd, uh, actually, you should say this because... You shouldn't say this. <laughs> well, yeah, rate the unemployees watching. Yeah, right, right. 
It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what date. My best. I wonder what date. <laughs> I didn't give a year. You didn't give a year. You truly didn't give a year. That is a fact. <laughs> hey, no narcs, you fucking radio on a boy. Yeah, right Keep it to yourself. Face. Have a little fucking heart. Bunch of killers. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Soon. Retirement from right now. I still want to get that dream job at Home Depot. Still looking for the hookup. Anyway. What's the difference between a Roth IRA and a 401k? And why are people so pushy about these things? Ooh, that's a good one. You want to actually, go actually, we need Zach here for that one. Uh... I actually, I think there's, yeah. di it's different in tax, tax strategy. Roth IRA is like, yeah. Roth and is the like, amount you can contribute. Right. 401k is done through your employer. You can, you can, uh, put aside a per certain percentage of your uh, income that goes into a, an investment program. And a lot of times like in Raytheon, they'll, they'll match part of it for you. And so that's a 401k. And the Roth is something that you do, you contribute to yourself. Uh, oops, I have to make the whole thing now. Um, one thing about 401k is it's pre-tax. So say you make, um, you know, two thousand dollars a month or whatever, and you contribute X amount, say say ten percent. So two hundred bucks a month is contributed to your 401k. Now your taxable income is eighteen hundred. You get taxed less. You get taxed less. A Roth IRA, you make two thousand dollars and you contribute two hundred bucks. You're still getting taxed. On the $2, but you're not taxed on the gains. You're not taxed on the gains. In the Roth IRA. And so when you pull it out later, all that growth is tax-free, which is phenomenal. The problem with a Roth IRA is there are, there are income limits. So if you make too much money, you can't contribute to a Roth IRA. However, you can you can contribute to a, a regular RIRA. RI, IRA. IRA. A couple drinks. <laughs> you can contribute to a regular IRA, IRA, and then you can do a backdoor contribution to it. And that's, it sounds fishy. Guys, long story short, what he's saying is put your money into crypto and forget about it. Just put it into Doge, put it into. How's that working out? Moon coin. Oh, it's mooning. It's, I mean, they're mooning? just straight. Over the moon? Right. <laughs> put it in a safe moon and just let it sit because you, as long as you have diamond hands, you'll be set for retirement. Let me tell you. This is no crap. I'll give you one little bit of serious advice. Love that. Um, I start out. I mean, most of you folks are young. Contribute a little bit. You, you, your spending habits will adjust around the money you um, you don't have. Pay yourself first is kind of the attitude. Put some money aside. Your your spending will will. Um, what do you, what do you want to say? You'll, I mean, you'll look, get around it. Gen Z has average like seven thousand dollars save for retirement. It's incredibly low. You got to put a little bit of money away. Uh, get used to just putting money away regularly. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it grows and it compounds make and it's it really a, good. Make it a habit. If you make it a habit There's early, nothing, it'll be a lot easier than later. It's the strongest force in the world is compound interest. Don't steal Warren Buffett quotes from my stream. <laughs> I just came up with that. You not just come up with that. <laughs> it's the strongest force in the universe. Uh huh. Uh, Stronger than a black hole. All right, for free. Oh, next question. All right, let's see. Uh, so, pre-tax and post-tax is the biggest in four hundred one k and. Uh, let's Roth see. Um, Why did the they try to assassinate Thatcher? Oh, my dad is a fleet admiral and wants them, Ooh. me, I guess, to join the military. No, wait, what? My, my dad is a fleet is admiral and admiral. wants them to join the military. Should I try to stop them? What are you talking? Do you mean yeah. you're trying to stop the the, the fleet admiral? The fleet admiral from joining the military, or do you he's want? To, in. He's in. No, I uh, think you want the, the fleet admiral wants his. Kid oh, my to... friend's dad. Okay, my friend's dad wants his friend to join the military, which means he's talking about himself, but he wants to put it in the different. <laughs> he wants to. I know a guy. I know a guy whose dad uh, wants to. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I, I will tell you. Um, I don't have firsthand experience of this, but I know people who were, went to the Air Force Academy, mm -hmm. and their their dads were generals or whatever, and, and they were only there at the Air Force Academy because their dad wanted them to join the military, and they were miserable, hated the military, hated the idea of oh, the yeah. military. They just, it's not for everyone, and really, from a guy who serves in the Air Force, if you don't want to be there, I certainly don't want you there. There was so many miserable eighteen-year-old kids on those bases. Yeah, miserable. Yeah, yeah. Walking around depressed, drinking all the time, spent all their money on a $3,000 Dodge Charger. 
Yeah. Hated life. Getting married at 18. They were married back home. She's probably <laughs> cheating. It was bad. Don't don't go into the military unless you have a yeah. passion for her. Like, don't yeah. do it because your dad told you to do it. 100%. First I asked all. both you guys, you and Zach. You want to join the Air Force? Fuck no. I only considered it for one second because they were going to pay for all of school, but then I got that that ride to ASU. Yeah. It is a great way uh, to pay for school. They'll do it for four years, but four years is a long time. It's not that long. Four years. Four when years you get to my time. age, it's not that long. Yeah, well. Not, not, long. <laughs> not everybody's and I, and For the guy who's eight years in, <laughs> um, you, you kind of get to that magic point at 10 years. You're like, well, I'm halfway there. Lifelong retirement payment. Ten more years is still a long time. So if you're if you're unhappy with the military and you're, it's not for you, um, I mean, then find something else. Seriously, uh, the, Air, the Air Force, the military, whoever. They, these they, kids are all getting drafted anyway. When we go to war over Taiwan, so <laughs> don't, don't we're talk not going to fight Taiwan. We're trying China. war over Taiwan. What's up, Beijing? <laughs> <laughs> he watches. I do watch. He's well, you know why? Because one time I was, I think the last time I was on the show was over two years ago whatever there you asked me what i like about your show mm. and what i say you probably don't remember i don't remember i said like marketing mondays and you booed me you're like ah <laughs> marketing Monday, nah. every that's what every you know gen z or whatever, whatever call me. everyone doesn't know what to say says marketing Monday. that means you're not even a fan which is probably legit <laughs> but i do like marketing monday and so i started watching your other shows and and uh, I always get something out of it. Uh, I, always... I like doing it too. Yeah. Um, let's see. What do we got? We got. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. You tell your friend he's got to live his own dream. He or she has got to live his own dream. At Atrioc, is there anything that you regret about how you raised Atrioc? Is there any regret about how you raised me? Is there any regret? Guy turned out all right. No regrets. <laughs> no no regrets? I, <laughs> I have no regrets. No. Cheers to that, King. I mean, you are. Oh. Uh, I don't want to get too emotional. <laughs> and I've been drinking, so it's a little bit too Don't get him started. He'll cry. This guy will ball. You were a hard ass for 20 years. You started balling like crazy ever since. Ever since you got back from Germany, I feel like you a did. hard ass. You did. did. You were. No, I was not. You, you were. You sound like, like uh, the great Santini or something. I don't even know what that is, you hard ass. <laughs> I was never a hard ass. I'm like the nicest guy. <laughs> In fact, other people say you're like you're, you're like no other colonel I've ever met. No other colonel <laughs> acts like you. You act like you're you know a staff sergeant or something. I talked to Jordan Tayer, who knew you when you were a colonel and he was an airman, and said you were a total hard ass. You were the colonel nobody was ever was afraid of. That's, that's what he that's said. Not true. Interesting. Well, that's, that's a first-hand source. First-hand source. <clears throat> By some drunken airman, you were just talking. About. <laughs> <laughs> They're all drunk when they don't like oh, you. Oh yeah. A lot uh, of people like me. I'm like the. I'm a big softy. No regrets about Brandon. He turned out fantastic, and uh, and uh, and recently, I'll just say this: you made a post about an update, oh, and, and I was man. like, man. <laughs> I told him you called me. I did. I called you because uh, I. I mean, I was emotional about. It. I was like, man, th this kid is my hero. Uh, this guy is phenomenal. Well, I mean, you're a great Hang human being. On my hero. <laughs> Watch him as he... <laughs> no, I just thought that... I... That was really nice. I appreciate that you called me. I mean, not everybody gets to have their dad call and say they're proud of them. It's like a movie moment. A movie moment? Actually, yeah, it's like, you know, no, you, you feel like it was I, like I was, I was in a, I was, a credit uh, scene. It was phenomenal. Super proud of you. Um. Okay, well, well, okay. That was a good... What do you hate about me? Hate about Brandon? Yeah. It could be minor. It could be but. Oh, what's something I uh, what's something I do that pisses you off? That pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's acting like uh, I've seen him yell at me for the tiniest things for thirty years. Now he's like, like I can't even think of one bad thing to say. <laughs> I can't. I, I love my kid too okay, much. Okay. Let's... You're like. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 can How about this? Okay. How about you tell uh, me what you think I hate about you? All right. I don't know about hate. Hey, hate's a strong okay, word. Yeah, obviously, we we love each other, but yeah. I do think. Um, I got a sort of I got a devil may care attitude towards upcoming obligations. <laughs> Taxes, <laughs> sure. <laughs> that really frustrates you. I think that gets it, you. Okay, I will. Okay, that's a good. That's a good uh, conversation starter. Mm. Frustrates me or just makes me jealous? Because <laughs> I'll tell you, 
<laughs> yeah, I might have been a hard ass, whatever. Mm. I don't think I was, but okay, we'll say that I was. Okay. Because I had to grind. I had to grind for oh. every fucking <laughs> morsel. Everything I, I fucking grinded for it. And you had this devil make your attitude and shit just falls on your lap. I mean, literally. Just oh, uh, no. oh who goes? Oh, I'm turning into my dad. Who? Oh, I'm turning. It's like you sound exactly like what I'm gonna say to my fucking kid. Oh, we're the same. Oh, That's yeah. exactly what so I would listen, say. Who goes out there? Who go, who confronts the rental agency and says, "Hey, hardware flooring, let's go." <laughs> and you get yeah. the benefit, and I get labeled the hard ass. I get all the negative publicity. You didn't you, get any negative publicity. Everyone called you a hero for that. And Giga Chad. You. I told the story as you saved my my college, college time. Yeah, okay. You came in and yelled at that lady. <laughs> that yell at you made her feel uncomfortable. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's important. Yeah. You don't have to yell. <laughs> well, not. You don't have to yell. Yeah. Make the other person uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. You okay. were stern. You were stern. Well, and because I was calling her out on her bullshit. Because she said, oh, we're going to get around to it. Well, when are you going to get around to it? In the future. No, I was impressed. I was like, okay, that, that's I was impressed because me and Doug tried to talk to her, and she just wouldn't give it. She blew us yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. And you came in, you and then keep, hey, you were, like, very serious that. about it. If you guys don't know, I mean, yeah, it's the, he. we moved into an apartment, and they lied to us, and the floor was just disgusting, ratty carpet, and everyone else around us had hardwood floors. And we were asking them to fix it, and they wouldn't do it, and my dad came in and got it done. It was cool. And it didn't cost us anything. Yeah. And it... Was, you know, they, were, they were just being, uh, they are false, you know, not false advertising, but they were misleading. They were misleading. Uh, here's one. Okay. Um, this is oh, kind of fun. Do you remember your speech at H. Rock uh, and Ari's awesome. Reading? Reading or wedding? You're drunk. I said wedding. You said Reading. <laughs> oh, no. Let's take the clip. Oh, too much Reddit. That's it. Right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to, do you, Mr. Trump? <laughs> uh I yeah, did everything right, and they indicted me. Well, you know what? Um, mm -hmm. I don't remember, but I do remember my opening. What was your opening? I don't know if um, I remember. Because I, I, I spoke from the heart, and I love Ari to death. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I love Ari to I death. I like your speech. It was good. But what was funny was, and that's probably not telling anything, but um, Ari's dad spoke first. Okay. And he had been tipping the... Oh, the, Yeah. Ari's dad had kicked some back. He was dancing mariachi. Yeah, he was having. He was not feeling. Any and also, pain. he doesn't speak English to begin with. <laughs> so, Just a little bit. No, a little he, bit. But you put a couple of drinks in him, and it yeah. goes out the window. So he, it's all back he to. He was the... drinking some very high class tequila, <laughs> and he drank a lot of it. It was a that wedding. Was a good day. I mean, that was, was a good wedding. Was a great day. That was we're a good wedding. A, was... We're having a blast. So he gets up there and he's thanking everybody and saying hi and welcome everybody to the, to the festivities and. He was giving a great, great speech, but then he, when it happens to me too, could not remember my name. Oh. And he's looking at me, and now he's getting stage fright because everybody's <laughs> looking at him, and he can't remember the groom's <laughs> father's name. And he's and so he's, he's intoxicated, he's nervous, he's up there, he couldn't remember my name. And I know that he was embarrassed about it. And then he's, so he, gets off the, he gets off the stage, and then I'm up there next. And I get up there and I, I go, forgot about that. Me llamo Darren. <laughs> and the crowd and the went wild. The whole place went nuts. Yeah, all of the... All the Spanish speakers. Spanish speakers on that. Ari's side fucking they, lost it. It's the white guy privilege. All he said was me llamo Darren. They were like... It's the only Spanish I know. <laughs> this guy changed. This guy healed the divide. <laughs> this guy... <Darren> down the wall. <laughs> he opened the border. It's yeah. good. Uh, it I was a, I mean, he really got, uh, yeah, it was crazy. They it lost was, it. I forgot it was, about that. It was pretty funny. You I forgot, forgot about I that? forgot he forgot your name. I was so, yeah, I mean, was that was nothing. It was, it was, was nothing. I mean, he knows you. He, he, he just, totally yeah. knows me. He was What's just drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was funny. It, I mean, it was a great setup. I mean, I couldn't have paid the guy to give me a better setup. That was yeah, fantastic. it was a good setup. Uh, you know, I said, I'm knocking down. That was fun. I, I was a, uh, that was a day. great wedding. It was a great day. Good day. Good day. All right. Um, we're answering all these questions. Oh no, we're just picking random ones. A lot of them. I know, are but we're, oh. oh, you're you're avoiding the hard ones. No, I'm, some of them are just dumb. Like there are no stupid questions, but <laughs> there, I don't are lie. Stupid questions. <laughs> there are stupid questions. There are stupid questions. Uh, this is actually uh, this is more for whenever I do it. Let's okay. do some more fun ones for when my dad's here. Okay. Um, where's Ari's family what? from? They're from uh, Mexico, Sonora, Mexico. Yeah, somewhere Mexico. It's a big country. Uh, it's a big country. Take you there. I'm an '80s guy. I like the '80s music. Big country, look it up. <laughs> Not a great song. 
I was supposed uh, to be a Danny Elfman oh, tonight. Oh, here's a good question. Okay. Why weren't you mad at Atrioc when he stole the water bottle? I didn't steal water. I just took a sip out of the water bottle and put it back. But this I do... story constantly changes. This story has not changed. You drank the whole bottle. I, I didn't. You took a sip of water and put it yeah, back. I in... swear to you on Christ That doesn't above. make it better. Wait, what do you mean? You took a sip of water and put it back on the shelf. I'm not saying it makes it better. I'm just saying that's that's from that's the beginning. Disgu- that's worse, actually. <laughs> that is actually worse. That's disgusting. You're like one of those people that peels off the ice cream and licks it and puts it back. I put it back because it was like it tasted bad or wrong or it wasn't cold enough or something. Bullshit. What? I was trying to save 65 cents? That's probably 90 cents. <laughs> I had a 20. I bought two Starbucks when I left. They didn't. It was crazy. Well, you then, know it was so, crazy. So listen. I never believed your story anyway, but I thought you, that you had drank the water and forgot to pay for it because you bought other stuff. Yeah. And you'd give money to the guy outside. And that might be made up too. That was 100% real. Okay. But you, that you would, and we were walking around and you're drinking water and then, you know, you got to the, and you just never paid for it. That's why okay. I, I, that you drank it and put it back is disgusting. And then you <laughs> obviously totally knew what you were doing. No. I, I, had I known that, I probably wouldn't have come out there. Really? No, I wouldn't come out. There. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, hey, uh, why would, why was I not mad at him? I just appointed, of course, but uh, not mad. No, I mean, man, you go through life, you you got to make mistakes. You're gonna fuck stuff up. I mean, that's just that's just human nature. Put it there. And anybody who says, "Well, I've never made a mistake," well, then you're not doing anything. And you're also lying because everyone's made mistakes. <laughs> I've made a thousand mistakes, and, and I've had good people, you know, forgive me and and uh, get me back on the right path for whatever. Um, and so, yeah, kids make mistakes. He was in high school, saw a bottle of water. Who gives a shit? You know, I, <clears throat> I wanted to go out there and know that he was supported by his family. And, and it was really nice. I mean, because I, you know, yeah, he's already embarrassed. Amar, it's the worst yeah. situation. So, Everything's well, what are you bad. gonna do? You're gonna yell at him? No, he already he already feels like shit. I remember going oh. up there, seeing there, and, and I give you a big hug, and, was, and we went to the court the next day. And on, you know, as you're punishing, we went to a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you actually took me out. You took me out of the yeah, town. We went yeah. to the, like the Coca Cola Museum. Yeah. We saw a movie. What you know? We had a great day in Atlanta, and then the judge. Yeah, the judge is super cool. He, she was. She was cool. Was it a she or he? It was, was her. It was, it was he let us in, but then the. I remember the judge. I could have sworn it was a he. But okay, maybe whatever. You're... Uh, said you've never been in trouble before, have you? And you're like, no, you're not. I've never been in trouble, and and you hadn't. I mean, yeah. you're, you're a good person, and uh, so gave you some community service, and off you went. And and we, yeah, obviously we're living. Uh, I mean, we were. This is all over water ball. Yeah, Atlanta has rules about shoplifting because they have it so often. They have mandatory yeah. minimums. Yeah. So I took a sip of a water bottle, put it back. I said I would pay for it. <laughs> you know, it's I said I was so late. sorry, but it's too late. They literally have they have they had two cops grab me. Put me in the back room and wait for the fucking <laughs> police to arrive. It was crazy. It was mandatory yeah, minimum. If you own that store, imagine your little. No, I'm sure they get it all the time. But yeah. like, I was, I was literally in a full business suit and I literally bought things and had the money. You're talking about white privilege. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not saying white privilege. I'm saying probably I'm not here to fucking rob the store. Probably. Yeah, but I'm also with a group every, for FBLA. I, mean, I bet crazy. you. I bet you they're. they're I was money. in a full head to toe business suit. Oh, because you dress nice, you get to rob people. I know. You know, I wasn't robbing them. You stole a bottle of water I from. I forgot the, about it. I put it back. I, I, I let, what? No. no give no, me no, the because no. give me the motivation. I now, Why I'm, I'm am now I mad at him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. What was my motivation to put it back? I, who knows? But that's disgusting. That's. But I'm saying I was gonna go get it. It was just not no, cold you, enough. You're, oh. Now the chain. Oh, now it's not cold enough. What was what? What, what, what a reason? What? Why, why would you do saying? that? If you if you drank it and put it back, mm. that act right there is stealing. You now now <laughs> now I know what I'm doing. If you had walked around okay. the store and drank it and then sit down an empty bottle and said, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna get that later," and then go to pay for your purchase. No, it's the first sip wasn't right, so I put it back. So then you had no intentions of buying no, it. No, but maybe I did. I don't no, know. No, you. I, no, why that makes no <laughs> sense? But we don't know. It's going downhill, folks. Uh, One thing I had about that. Anyway, I, the point is they went extreme. They went extreme. And, and God bless them. I mean, that guy's a small business owner. He's got people coming in. <laughs> you don't know stuff. that. It was probably a 7-Eleven. It's probably it owned probably by a is... fucking Masayoshi-san, and he's got $68 billion. It might have been an independent guy who <laughs> You don't know st- that. You don't know it either. <laughs> I do, but I do I know I had actually worked at a 7-Eleven, and the guy owned one store. That was mm-hmm. his store. 
You're doing pretty well. You should have gotten 30 years to life. <laughs> I got the 30 years of life. At this yeah, it worked out all right. Worked out okay. Yeah, so I didn't get mad at him. Uh, uh, I wanted to support him. Hey, you made a mistake. No, it was great. And actually, I really remember that moment. It was a really powerful moment. Powerful. Um, all right, let's see some more questions. Let's right. see. Has your dad ever tried to show interest in your hobbies like gaming? How did it go? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. You know what's so funny? I'm watching this damn you show now. It, it wasn't even me. I remember Zach. It was so sad. Zach had some little map or something in a game that he made, and he was trying to show it to you. He's like, "Dad, Dad, look at it." And you, <laughs> this is really mean. I don't want to put you on blast, but you were like, "Like Zach, I don't care about this shit." <laughs> You literally said that, and, and his face was so crestfallen. No, I, I, I remember this very distinctly. But you, because he wasn't doing a very good job of making it interesting. I'll be honest with you; he was really going nerds with it. But you, you That's weren't terrible. able to to That's to connect terrible. with it. And there was also a game on that you wanted, <laughs> which is a Why? classic. It was a football game. <laughs> it was a football game. Give me a half. Time. And <laughs> and you said it in a way where it's like I'm trying, but and and but he was disappointed. I remember it was really I'm sad. I'm gonna call him and apologize. Ah, uh, whatever. He's that's, fine. No, that's terrible. You know, because uh, someone. So uh, I I have a I have a uh, moment. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you remember. We're yeah. living in uh, in uh, Goodyear, mm -hmm. and I was like, Brandon, <laughs> this is how stupid I am. Um, push pause on your game. Oh. And you're like, I can't, you know. Hey, who can relate? <laughs> <laughs> push pause. That's when they tell you to push him. pause, dude, you're in the middle of in fucking my day, league ranked, bro. You're trying, <laughs> you got a fucking diamond to hit. You got fucking your team going Back for in fucking. my day, we can uh, push Second pause. tower, there's Baron coming up. Anyway, you didn't push pause. You and pulled he, it out, right? Is that what yeah, you did? Yeah, I turned everything off. He I pulled walked. the plug out of the computer. I was oh. so, I wouldn't talk to him for. Yeah. So that shit went, that was bad. <laughs> and now I was just talking to somebody about their, like, they were like, oh, you know, my kid was playing a game and blah, blah, blah. I went up there and I turned everything off. I'm like, man, that is, that's, let me just tell you from my experience. That's not the worst fucking thing you can do. That is, I mean. I was so I, mad. I said, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, you, you know, if you, just because you don't relate to it. It's like someone that was painting a painting and you're like, hey. Time to do your home or time to do this, and and they've worked on this painting. You it's walk like up that. there, and just, it's like art. And, well, it could be anything, any <laughs> project that you invested time and effort into. Just because I don't game doesn't mean it doesn't have value. I don't paint either, but at least I can, you know, whatever. So if you if you don't appreciate someone else's work and their effort and their enthusiasm towards something, and you completely disregard it like that, I mean, I, I another parenting fail was that day for me was when I when I did that and because then I saw it I don't know if you get your, your chat remembers this there was a guy who took all his kids video games put them in the yard and ran over them oh I remember that <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny it was, it was it's funny for the kid, rest of us the kid had a meltdown that kid like, did have a meltdown I was like that's that's bad parenting from experience. Well, it's just a bad, I mean, you know, that's, something went wrong to get to that point, and that's not a good fix. That's not a good fix. That's I, not, I, that's I, just a. There's a better way to handle that situation and, and to set limits for gaming or, you know, whatever it is. Uh, but what I did and what that guy did with running over his kids' games, that's not the answer. And so I apologize again. Brother, I lost eight games of League today. Thank you for telling me I'm an artist. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> I look on your nose. I don't know. Everybody's I don't know. got their I don't thing. Know. I mean, I'm I'm a little older and wiser too. It was. It's not you were overdoing it. You're it's not a healthy hobby. I'll be honest with you. Playing League of Legends 12 hours a day is not a healthy hobby. No. But it worked out for me. I don't know. I would recommend it to everybody. <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah, that but you, so you gotta set. You just, that's the conversation. Hey, you you know you you can game for four hours a day or five or whatever. I mean, like for example, if I had a but kid right now, I would, I wouldn't trust that because it worked out for me that you should do it i'll be like hey you need to take a break because that's yeah. that's that's not a good use get of your a job time at costco or something man you did tell me to get a job at costco every fucking day <laughs> i'm moving out i'm going to live with chris it worked <laughs> that guy i'm so Stella, glad i didn't take Stella, your advice bro I been example four years in the air force into a costco job and that's what you would have for me yeah you might be assistant manager by now hobby <laughs> you yeah, may be happier uh, all right, let's see. Good What's question. the drunkest you ever got with your pop? I don't know. Maybe today. <laughs> this was good. Uh, shots probably we'll Vegas. Get... We did this some. Oh, yeah, Vegas. We got. We've done some drinking in Vegas. Oh, here, answer this for them. Does HR actually read all those books? I'm a reader. Confirm yeah, for them. Fuck yeah. 
Brandon read more books by second grade than I've read in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's no joke. I'm not a reader. I hate reading. I read at work. I, I read for work. I got so I don't. It's not an entertainment to me. I don't enjoy it. It's a burden ever since. Brandon Dude, was, you know what I remember so funny? I might still have this book. Oh, here it is, right here. Brandon is a voracious le- reader. It's insane. I was trying to. I was trying to connect with my dad. It was his birthday, and I got him this book. <laughs> I oh, remember his face. I was face. looking for this book. I remember his face was like, you got a little kid, like, uh, socks or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was so sad that I got him a book. I was no. like, no, it's ESPN. You like sports. It's a I, book. I, I, oh, I, did was, you steal it from me? <laughs> you never were going to read this. I, I read you the, were yeah. never going to read this. The <laughs> story starts off like the guy committed suicide at the very beginning. <laughs> That's page one. <laughs> Turns that out ESPN because of Blockhouse of Sports Entertainment. <laughs> I know the end. <laughs> uh, I out. remember. I was like, oh, I got ESPN. I, I remember that was a bad gift. I was like, I got. No, I know. Never a book. You know what your best book was? What? Um, and I well, your best present. Um, but I know Mom told you to get it for me. What? The James Conner jersey from the Arizona Cardinals. Oh yeah. Because it, it had to be specially made. That he's not a, not a high level player. One of my favorite players. And uh, so it had to be specially made, and you get it to me for Christmas. I will say, I legitimately believe this. The best part, because I, I, I was broke basically until I worked at Nvidia, and when I have a lot of money, and the best part of getting a lot of money is you can get really cool gifts, and people will really like them. A hundred percent, that's been the most fun part of getting any kind of money is that people. You can like spend a little extra time and get something really nice, and people their face lights up and they love it, and you feel like such a fucking cool person. It's the coolest thing about getting any kind of money. Well, <laughs> I mean, that's great. But for your mom and I, it's like that you remembered us at all. <laughs> yeah, but you guys always say, like, if I just, if I'm, you know, if you're no, there. No, I, mm. y- like, so but you know, a really good gift, people, there's a difference. I can just tell a difference. Yeah. Like, when I got Zach that uh, signed copy of Blue Streak, which is a movie we used to watch as yeah, a kid, I yeah. got, and he was like, really, he liked it. And that costs a lot of money. I got oh, Martin Lawrence I, to sign I just it. Wanna, I, yeah. I just want to point something out here. Yeah. This is so. This is this on is, page. What is that? Three hundred eight. Three hundred eight. This is a boarding is that, pass, United Airlines, with my name on oh, it. Oh, you made it! Actually, page read it. Three hundred eight. Wait a minute. My dad might have actually read this book up right. to three hundred eight. Maybe I didn't give him credit. Yeah, or maybe I just put the boarding. Maybe pass you just put the boarding <laughs> pass in there. Where's that? Three hundred eight's a pretty big let's, chunk in there. Let's see where I was going to. Why economy? I got my parents two iPhone XRs with my first paycheck. That's fucking awesome. Good for you, Gene. Boarding group um, seven. That's not good. Do you remember Atrock being upset about being cheated out of a reading competition? I think my mom would remember that, not my dad. That was that was yeah, whenever you were I, you I, were because you were in competition with a guy that was a year older than you. Yeah, Kyle Stark, sixth grade. I hate that kid. <laughs> Why do you hate it? Why do you I just hate carry that, that kid. anger? Because he had a mom that worked at the school that was that rigged rigged me out of my points. I read some little kid's book like, to put me over the like, limit. You sound like it was a fake. I read like a fix, Clifford book to, to the, beat at her son, and she's like, nah, it's below his grade level. Can't count. It was nepotism. It was fucking. My mom will tell you. Mm, okay, you sound like somebody I know. In the Trump, Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> I did you everything right, and they indicted me. <laughs> um, yeah, that's terrible. But, I mean, the fact that you were a year younger than that guy. I was smoking him, too. And you were smoking him. And the, you know, yeah, I read a Clifford book, which is yeah, it was below your level, and you were just trying to get it, get over. Yeah, the at the last second, I was trying to beat this dumb kid's ass. Uh, what's your favorite business or career focused book? Well, uh, this guy's he's got the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, or, uh, ask Brandon because I don't read. I got a, I got a book. I mean, I always tell this one. This is my easiest recommendation. Ah. It's my easiest recommendation. I always recommend it. It's called The Algebra of Happiness. It's a very simple book. It's got even got little just diagrams yeah, like a bed. and little uh, math equations that are like simple, and it's just about things that have been proven by science to to correlate to happiness. Can I borrow that? Uh, sure. I'll read. And it. Once I read it, I started thinking about life a little differently, and started trying to prioritize, I don't know, more time with family and friends, more time uh, exercising, more I don't know, just things that like, because at the end of the day, the whole point of getting money is to use it for happiness, and if you 
aren't doing it the right way, then, then what's the fucking point? So uh, it's a pretty good book. I think it's. I think it, it makes you think. I will tell you, there's a lot of diminishing return on money. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's like more money doesn't make you more happy. I mean, well, neither of us know because we haven't got to Jeff Bezos' level, but I, I do think that for most people, I think there's a lot of people that are like, I don't know, 45, 50, and they spend their whole time getting money. They got nothing else. And they're looking around, and they don't have any close relationships. Air Jordan, did you that, that movie? What about it? The guy who was the agent who had who was. Uh, oh yeah, that guy who spent his whole time. Yeah, sold this thing for a hundred million. Yeah, eating alone, you know, eating alone that night. It, yeah, I don't know if so it's true, just, but it just feels like there's something I mean, that, done that. Even yeah. if it's not true, that happens to people. Yeah, that does. Yeah, so that's not good. Um, just uh, let's see what else. Let's see, we got more questions. Um, this is fun. I actually, I'm pretty good. At How this. good do you think the Cardinals will be this year? You answer that one. They suck. <laughs> they, it's not going to be good. Unfortunately. Oh, how did you meet my mom? How did you meet Tracy Diane Ewing, the great mother of my life? I love her dearly. Well, it's not confirmed that I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I was like, what the woman I'm married to? <laughs> yeah. Now we met at the Grand Canyon. You guys were both. Let me see if I know this. I need to know. Let's my, see, yeah, let's see if you know it. I need to know my parents' history. I don't know. That's you good. guys didn't have That's good stories. Good test. We, my really understanding is that you guys were waiter and waitress at uh, a steakhouse on the Grand Canyon. That's correct. And you both got a lot of tips, and you guys were doing pretty well. <laughs> And that's how you met. And she was dating someone else at the time. Yep. And you gave her a bunch of flowers or something and sort of Ooh, put a little riz. The kids say riz now for charisma. Riz? Yeah. Charisma. Riz. Riz. Hmm. You rizzed her up. Yep. And Mr. Steal Your Girl <laughs> <laughs> swooped in. And uh, and that's how you got uh, mom. And then uh, out comes me, you know. Yeah. Is that pretty there. close? That's pretty close. Right. We, were, we were at the Grand Canyon. My aunt, uh, who's since passed, but she owned a restaurant up in the Grand Canyon. I went up there to work for the summer. Game is game. <laughs> game is game. That's right. Uh, she had a boyfriend. His name was Nick, who actually lives in T who lived in Tucson. That's mm -hmm. where we live now. Hope she's not hooking up with that guy tonight while I'm out of here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we were both waiter waitress there, and she was dating this guy Nick. I could tell she wasn't happy with that guy. And you could tell. <laughs> I had more to you offer. You were a hero. You just saw that she wasn't uh, happy. She wasn't happy. Him. You thought you'd move in. You'd help her out. Let me just tell you what that, out. Let me, this poor woman. <laughs> she was a girl. She was a baby. I was just a baby. I just turned 21. Oh, yeah. Um, learned the sins of alcohol. That was pretty eye-opening. Um, and so, I mean, there's some stories I could tell about your mom on our first dates. No, but not, I, but for, I'm not, not for this stream. And not for you. <laughs> There's, I would share with your stream that if you weren't here. Um, we had a pretty good time that summer. <laughs> okay, shot for you, old man. But uh, what, what was great was her birthday. Uh, she, she's a little bit older than me. You know that, right? Yeah, she's four years. She's four years older than me. So for her birthday, I bought her a dozen roses. And I was, I mean, I was. I was you weren't dating. We weren't dating. But I was. I was in hot pursuit. There's no joke. I, I, I was in fashion. You a girl does roses and she dated someone else. That's hot pursuit. I was in hot pursuit. Um, and so her boyfriend, Nick, who was, I mean, I'm a pretty tall, pretty big person. He's bigger. He's bigger than me. Everybody's going to say, this guy's going to come here and kick your ass. <laughs> uh, he didn't. But he bought Tracy two dozen roses. I remember that. And that was a bad move. And that was a bad move. So if guys out there, if you want to, if you're trying to double up on you a guy, trying to double up, you, you that's know, a, that's, 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 <laughs> that's not the that was an it. instant fail for him. <laughs> Marketing Monday, instant fail. And that was worked out great for me. <laughs> hey, it worked out great for me. Cause I wouldn't be alive. Be right. So right. we'll yeah. call it. Uh, I should have tripled it. Yep. So that's where we met Grand Canyon. Uh, that's ago. good. That was a while ago. Um, let's see. Nick from the yard. Um, a lot of stuff. What's a funny memory your dad likes to teach wait, wait, you about? Wait. My wife and I are expecting our first child in a few months. Mm, let's see. Any advice? Man, just love. Everyone talks about don't spoil your kid. Spoil your kid. <laughs> love your kid. I mean, I'm not kidding. In hindsight. Yeah, revisionist history, bro. <laughs> no. This guy has changed so much. So much. This is revisionist history. 
It's crazy. It's a made up term. You've got so soft that you're you retroactively you. applying. You know what? <laughs> what, I, what did I talk about earlier? I think you, you know you, what? I think a little bit of toughness as it goes a long way. A little bit of what? A little toughness. You think you you think you're a little tough when they're a kid? So I think you did a good. I'm not saying let them run free and you know hold banners to mm. them, but you cannot over love your children. Just love them, and and spend as much. I mean, I didn't do this. <laughs> it's it's not, it's three not, years in Korea when I was spend. I had to quit much. Boy Scouts. <laughs> yeah, because you were so into it. <laughs> Yeah, you had to quit baseball, <laughs> soccer, football, all the sporting events <laughs> you're after. You had to quit all those. Yeah, you're so, shit. Oh my god. I really loved Boy Scouts and I wanted to do it. And then my dad, he had to get deployed. It was a yeah. disaster for me. I could have been some I could have been a real you Eagle been Scout. A, you could have been, yeah. Sorry about that, son. Sorry I failed you. Ooh. So what I'm saying is, uh. as a young parent. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. First of all, forgive yourself for making those mistakes. Second of all, learn from those mistakes, as I have. Hey, I wish I would have spent more time with you and Zachary. I wish I would have been more involved. I wish I would have been less, here now. I wish I would have been less focused on my career and more focused on you. Not, And I've seen other people go the other way. Mm. They give total, uh, you know, they to their kids. all their other kids, and then their career fails. I'm like, well, why, why the fuck? Yeah, everything lies to balance. You got to balance it. And and I will say I was out of balance. So more time trying to make the next rank or the next whatever, and less time with my kids. And that, that was a mistake. And I've learned and grown for that. So I, if I could offer advice, I'm not revising history. I'm saying <laughs> that was a mistake. I learned from it. If I could pass that advice to somebody, that's what I would tell oh, them. I, think you're, I can't I, go back and do it. Listen, what I, I can do yeah. is be a better grandparent. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not rushing me in anything, but I feel that even with art, I feel that with um, you know, I just oh, I got this pressure. I just want to make money, you know. I want to make sure she's got yeah. anything she wants. Hey, you want to take care of your family. Uh, I just want her to have sometimes I just no, want, they just want it is one time. Yeah. But I'm always thinking about the next dollar. <laughs> <laughs> she did write me. Yeah. Brandon on his deathbed. I wish I would have worked more. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know you know that song, um, "Cast in the Cradle." Cast in the Cradle. That's a. Did you see this? You you weren't watching. Uh, well, stream? that's a famous movie. You didn't, but you didn't see it on stream. No. Okay. Oh my God! Someone made a parody of "Cast in the Cradle." And you? Where it was Ari talking to me, and I'm playing video games, and she's like, "Hey, you want to hang out soon?" And I'm like, "I'll do one more level," and I was I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. Oh, that's it was making so... me tear up. I was getting. I had to end stream, and I went and just gave her a big hug. It was so. It, man, it was. Oh my, oh my god. Because there's been so many times where I've been like, I got stream tonight, and she's like, okay. And I, I love her so much. It made me so sad. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna find it. I'm actually crying right now. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, it was that's terrible. I mean, that song it. always gets me no matter what. Even though we have a good relationship, even though I hear that song, I, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a song designed to make you cry. Yeah. He, he's, uh, he's, he's, play, he's placating or whatever. Anyway, he's pandering, pandering. Um, uh, love your kid, just love him to death. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. kidding. I'm not kidding. LOL, nerd loves his wife. <laughs> True. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. We got any more questions? Um, do, 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 do. Did you inherit your glizzy hands from your dad? You want to test right now? Give me your hand. You. <laughs> Your hands are sausages. Oh my God, look at these little teeny tiny piano fingers. Bro, you're fucking, you are got problems. You got blood problems. Blood problems? Get them fixed. That's, that's crazy. These are fists of steel. <laughs> I saw one about, what do you like about Tucson? It's I remember, wait, I remember very distinctly, you were so mad at me. I think I was arguing with mom. And you came in last second, and I was in the bathroom, and you just opened the door, stuck your hand in, and slapped me. <laughs> It was so, it was comical because I could see your hand. I was looking in the bathroom mirror and I saw your hand sticking out your face. You slapped me and then you walked out. You didn't even say anything else. It was so funny. But that, those glizzy fingers, they slap, they hard, they, it hurt. That felt that sting that for a while. That was not made up. That's a, that's a when core memory. That, yeah, when was that? Where? I don't It was in Arizona. I remember that. The only thing I remember, and you already told me not to go into this. So don't well. go too much into it. It's crazy. But, uh, one time you pushed mom and that that set me off. No, yeah, no, I did. <laughs> I grabbed her shoulders. I was, 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that one go. I agree, disagree. Uh, <laughs> you know about Tucson, I saw that one go, fly by. Uh, Tucson is a foodie town. Uh, and if you can see me stand, I'm fat. My mom and dad are presidents of the Tucson Outreach Association, and they're going to tell you how great it is. I love Tucson's people. fine. It's very hot. It's, it's extremely hot. Come until almost unlivable. And I wouldn't recommend moving there unless you have a reason for it. Don't move there. Unless you want to work for right there, let me know. I'll hook you up. Yeah. If you're an engineer. Um, what are you guys sipping on tonight? Tequila. Yeah, uh, Zito. Espelon tequila. It's probably from Ari's parents or something. I don't know, but it's good. It's, it's a good some one. Dia de Muerta. Yeah, a little so, Dia de los, los Muertas on there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Got a lot of tequila in this house on account of Ari being Latina and me being honorary Latino. Okay. That's not an honor you have. <laughs> don't don't try to culture the. I'm in. Way. I'm I'm in. I'm in the I'm in the family. La familia. <laughs> Italian, but go ahead. Um, where did you get Atriox's name? I didn't come up with that. You had that since like seventh grade. Yeah, I had a long time. I already told the story many times, but it, it it came from a video game where you could have a pet panther and it would randomly generate a name, and. I took it, took some letters out. I liked it, and I ended up switching it. I, I had it since yeah. I had it since I was twenty two thousand one, probably nine eleven. <laughs> Never forget. That's where, that's where everybody the name everybody else came from. was mourning the loss. <laughs> and I was making up a panther <clears throat> name. Three thousand people in uh, the twin towers, and Brandon's like, I got a cool little name here, and that's what worked out for me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, wait. I remember. I mean, I have a nine eleven story. Who doesn't? Uh, I remember a lot of people who don't weren't born in nine eleven. Most people in the chat were not born in the election, not yeah. most, but a lot of them a lot of people don't, weren't, remember. don't remember it. Yeah. They were alive for it, but they don't remember it. And some of them yeah. weren't born for it. Well, it's like me in uh, Pearl Harbor. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a terrible day, but I wasn't there. I didn't know. Yeah, but that was before you were born. That's different. It's like right. saying but even people... Genghis Khan. I was <laughs> Genghis Khan. <laughs> Two th so anybody here that's yeah. 22 years or younger doesn't know about uh, 9 11. No, yeah. no, they know about they it. Know they, about they, it they, they, they know about it, but they mostly they make were... jokes about it. Here's the thing I remember. Oh, man. One of Zach's friends, and I won't mention his name, Logan, but he made a joke about 9-11. They make too many jokes about it nowadays. Oh, pissed me off. Oh, got it. I get a little bit of you in me whenever. I mean, I, I don't. I mean, I think it's. Uh, that, that drives me nuts. I don't, but. It, it, uh, but, but anyway, my, my memory is that I was eight years old or whatever, mm -hmm. and we were in Germany, mm -hmm. and it was on the TV, mm -hmm. and at the bottom of the TV, it said, because of this, school is canceled. And I remember me and our neighbor, Oscar and Zach, we were celebrating. We were dancing around. Because school, we didn't know what the fuck was going on. And school was canceled. We were just like, no school. no, Because I had a big math test that I wasn't ready for. And I remember I was so annoyed with it. And <laughs> there's two things I remember. One is that <laughs> before they announced school was canceled, 9-11 was on the TV. Shit was happening. But I wasn't paying attention. I was on my textbook trying to do my math homework. And I was crying because the math was so hard and stressful. And I remember you you specifically and mom were so proud of me because you thought I was crying because of the TV. I remember you came up and you, <laughs> you were like, wow, he's so patriotic. Why do I hate Brandon? He's so patriotic. He's doing it. He's like, but I didn't understand what's going on. I was just so sad because this math was making me. And then I remember I got, I, we danced in a circle because we were like, school's getting canceled. And you got so, you were so mad. You were so mad. Not only because I was dancing, because we were dancing in the backyard and people could see. Oh yeah. And you were you thought people would think we I don't know. You were you were mad. That's probably the most mad I've ever seen you in my life, to I be honest. I don't remember that, but Yeah. Because I wasn't there on 9-11. I was in Norway. Really? I was in Norway. But I came right back. I mean I was back. Okay, yeah, it might have been the next day or whatever. You were mad. Um, yeah, it was bad. And yeah, it was next day because it was new on the news. It was it was like whatever. Yeah, it was you were on back. the news for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> and you were you yeah. were that's when they canceled the school. Anyway, uh, I always felt bad about that because obviously I didn't know. I was fucking eight. All right, I didn't yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. That dance was dedicated to the brave Mujahideen. <laughs> Good one. I will tell you, uh, some of the funniest shit is your chat. Is yeah, they got some funny ones. It's just a million monkeys, though. You know what I'm saying? On a typewriter. <laughs> There's so much crap. No, but the one I listened to, uh, it was an old show, so I don't even know when it was. But the guy who did shows. that. calls shows. 
He calls him Shelly. Whatever. <laughs> he calls him fucking. What do you call it? What is it? What it's is a. It? It's a stream. It's a YouTube video. It's a. It's bullshit. <laughs> he did a. He did a really good uh, song, rap song. I guess it's rap. I don't know. Um, and it just made so much fun of you. It was hilarious. I, I, oh, he's talking about somebody. Somebody did an Atriox diss rap recently, and my dad, my dad it loved hilarious. it. Like it was Tupac but even and Biggie, you, dude. But even you like yeah, it. Like good, even like good. you would stop. Like that's a deep cut, man. That's deep cut. That's good. And the and the music was like it was it wasn't like shitty music. It was good music, and had good digs. I wish I knew who that was because that was that was classic. That was awesome. Uh, what day was nine eleven? I don't know. It was like October. I think. <laughs> Being in the Navy, you're in a place, you guys. Okay. Being in the Navy, I've heard so many stories of ships getting underway immediately when 9 11 happened. What was it like on the Air Force side? Yeah, was there any. Um, well, I was in NATO at the time. And NATO was. NATO was the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It's all of the European countries coming together. I lived on a base called Geilenkirchen yeah. with a bunch of NATO military. Yep. Yeah. So it was not an American base. Not an American. It was in Germany. It does exist. Based in Germany, and it, was, and it had a it had thirteen. And all the different militaries. So all my classmates were like from Norway and from whatever. You know. Yeah. I keep saying Norway because there's this girl Marta Grindalen who I had a huge crush on. <laughs> She's from sure. Norway. I oh, appreciate it. Well, I'm just telling you, at the time I was like yeah. fucking third grade, fourth grade. No, actually sixth grade, seventh grade. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, and she was from. So Norway. I remember. So NATO is a different organization. NATO also stands for. Needs alcohol to operate, <laughs> or not after two o'clock. <laughs> so it's not the most, uh, it's not the greatest organization, but it's a great coalition. Mm. Anyway, um, so that basically shut down, and I remember we had a lockdown at the front gate, and so there's a huge backup at the front line to let people on base because they were doing this heightened security, and I was like, this is so dumb. Because if, if we were really under a terrorist threat, which we weren't, um, uh, but everyone was taking super precautions, of course you're going to do that. A terrorist could have driven down the line of all these military people in line to get on base and wiped out probably a thousand people easily. Okay. <laughs> And driven off, and you know, like, ah, that's shit. Osama's next target was Geiling Kirchner yeah. Air Force Base, yeah, Germany, that, that bro. Was thing too, was like, it was the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and Geiling Kirchner, Germany. That was the exactly, big three, bro. Exactly the top three. <laughs> this unknown base. In, in, he wanted to take right? out all the middle managers. <laughs> lower, lower managers. Lower managers. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, was kind of crazy. He finally got us where it hurts. Uh, let's see. So I wasn't in the, but actually, well, what happened was because the United States had been attacked. NATO has a, you know, attack against one is attack against all, which and I always all these European countries thought if we ever get attacked by Russia, was the big threat. United States will come to our aid. That was why NATO was set up. And then the United States gets attacked, and all these NATO countries come to the defense of the United States. So, for my for my part in AWACS, they did send troops to Iraq. Most yeah, of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of them did. They didn't like it. I mean, most of them pulled out later, but they did. Oh, they, yeah, they showed up, though. And But the AWACS, Except for France. <laughs> Remember Freedom yeah, Fries? Bullshit. Uh, do not talk bad about France. France France came in force. Really? Yes. And that, yeah, the Freedom Fries and all that bullshit, yeah. France stepped up. I remember in 2002, we were on the base. Bullshit. And everyone in the, the base was saying we couldn't have French fries. We had to have freedom fries because France wasn't helping out with Iraq and George Bush's Except, patriotic war. Bu it's bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. I'm telling you, France stepped up. I have nothing but respect. Now, there are some other things France has done that I don't, didn't care for, but are helping us in defense of Afghanistan and Iraq. All right. Cheers to France. I've All right. Been... Cheers for that last That's one the... for me. I Maybe mean, I'm getting... Well, yeah, that Freedom Fries is a soundbite they've already bit off on. Ah! Has ah. H-Rock ever thought about joining the Army? Uh, no. no. No, I only thought about it very... I mean, not Army, Kiss Air Force. Army. Kiss Army, maybe. I thought about Air Force for college. Briefly. Because they were going to pay for everything. For I didn't think I'd get a... But I got a full ride day as you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> legacy. Dude, it was not legacy. <laughs> legacy. 
They don't do legacy in a 60,000 student body school, I'll tell you that. There's like 200,000 people on ASU now. ASU's big, bro. Big, big. <laughs> uh, has your father ever been in combat? I don't think so. We only have, I mean, we no, have... no one's ever shot at me, if that's what you mean. I've been in combat arenas or uh, AORs, areas of responsibility, mm. definitely. But uh, I've never been shot at. I've never shot at anybody. I've been near people who've died, for sure. But I've never been shot at. That I know of. Maybe they might have missed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm moving cross country in a few weeks for undergrad film school. What tips do you have for an introvert that wants to party? Now, if you're going to film school, you better learn how to party. <laughs> you better learn how to pay the actors too. If you're, oh, you try. To... <laughs> what? <laughs> you are an Amazon warehouse manager. Don't try to join the labor movement. <laughs> I quit because of the. Yeah, you, that's animal. what you quit. Not because they didn't give you Christmas off. <laughs> you quit because of the labor movement. Let huh? me tell you. Let me tell you this. <laughs> uh, Amazon managers are labor. They're true. They're. I will agree with that. Yeah. Everyone below Jeff is doing insane work at that yeah, company. Uh, there, there's no difference. Jeff's hanging out with Lizzo on a yacht, but everyone else is grinding. Yeah, there's no, there's no management at my, at my level at Amazon. There's. Their labor is just like the next guy packing a box. We were talking about it, uh, my, my dad and I in the car, but uh, I was reading this stat about how Amazon has, they employ you know hundreds of thousands of people, and the turnover rate is so high, it's like 80%. People don't last more than two years there because they just hate it. And so they're getting to the point where they're running out of available workers in all of America. Because <laughs> so many people that have tried Amazon and quit will never go back. They're running out of literally all people because they... It's like they, a pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's a crazy how many people that have tried it and have... It's absurd. Uh, it's not an easy job. It pays well for an unskilled person, but it's monotonous. It's monotonous. Uh, I've been thinking about my future once I go to college. Any advice you would have for me? That's a good question. It's broad. You have any advice? I was thinking about my future once I go to college. Have you, no, so you're not gone. You're in high school right now. School. You're th Thinking about going to college? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll give you a first piece of advice: is sure. if you're gonna go to college, ugh, this is, people aren't gonna like. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, there's two directions you gotta go. Either one, get a bunch of uh, social experience and have a great time, make a bunch of friends, or pick a major that has a real career. But do not, and there's people that are gonna do this. Do not pick political science or something and make no friends. Because if you do that, you're going to spend four years playing games and doing nothing and also have a degree that doesn't get you a job. And you're going to be <laughs> you're going to be in a bad spot. Okay? Do not do poli-sci plus introverted gaming. If you want to be an introvert, you have to pick a fucking engineering career or something something with a little bit of money to it. Marketability. Yeah. I'm just giving you the honest numbers-based advice. I don't, I'm just telling you. It's worked out for some people. It worked out for me. It worked out for Stans. But you got to... You got to play the numbers. You got to play the odds. <laughs> uh, you bet the field. You don't play the odds. I always bet the field. That's a field bet's a bad bet. That's my advice. You, when you get 21 and you go to Vegas on your... Oh, my second piece of advice. Wait, sorry. Is if you go to college and you're in the middle of it and you're not doing so well and your grades are C's and you're on the borderline and you're thinking about quitting, I would say if you've already spent the money, finish. Finish with D's or C's and get degrees. <laughs> Because my experience in the real world is that after your first job, nobody gives one shit about your GPA, and the degree helps. The degree, does, if you're gonna get, if you're gonna do it, I, I think a lot of people. I know people that have like this guy Chris Gamble at Twitch. He was an engineer that never went to college. He rose the ranks. He was successful, super good. I don't think you have to go to college. I know this guy Jesse Lawrence who worked in social media. He's a g great guy. Didn't go to college, but if you're gonna do it. Finish it and get the degree and don't worry about your grades because nobody cares. Nobody cares about your grades. Your mm. first initial job, they might care a little. Yeah. And that would only be, be that would only negotiate your initial salary. That's really all it would be good for. But once you have work experience, that's all they care about. What have you done for me lately? In yes, your, sir. Yeah. And that's true with the Air, when I got in the Air Force, I didn't go to the Air Force Academy. It's a great quote. You see, what do they call the guy who finishes last in med school? Doctor. Doctor. Yes. <laughs> 100%. That's fire. That's yeah, 100%. 100 that's not dude. fire. You're either doctor or you're not. That's not fire. It's fire because I want to be treated by a doctor who got a 2.2 GPA. <laughs> that's an old quote. That thing's uh, old to me. Uh, 
That, that's that's a retread. What do you yeah. call that when they just pull shit out of their ass? That I call you stealing Warren Buffett's quotes thirty minutes ago. Yeah. Okay. Then what you, you gave me harassment? And Healthy gamer here. GG was a two point five GPA grad. Healthy gamer GG is a uh, he's this uh, Indian Healthy guy. Gamer? He's he's a psychologist, mm-hmm. I guess by by practice. He now does some kind of Twitch streams about mental health. He called me whenever I was having my tough times in February. Tough times? My t- <laughs> really? <laughs> really? That's the time to make fun of my speak? I'm trying to open up to you? Uh, and it was really I nice. I, I, he I, called me out of the blue, and it was really nice. And yeah. I, I think that guy's very emotionally intelligent. And he went to Harvard, so I got 2.5 there. Went to Harvard. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> They'll never let you forget it. <laughs> How do you know a guy went to Harvard? He'll tell you. He'll tell you. I like when they say... Uh, you know, school in Cambridge. <laughs> you know, I went to a school in Cambridge. Uh, Doctor K, good guy. I like, I like the guy a lot. I give him a big, good. big, big respect. Oh, and I, you know, I, who if I have if I can meet one of your friends, I've met some of your friends. Yeah, who dat? I met. Uh, met, him, met him <laughs> That's my first example of a friend is who dat? That's the friend you met. I like who dat. I, I like who dat too. He's Houdat. he was in chat earlier. He was and saying I like, hi. I don't know I if he's still like here, but he was meet, here. Uh, I've never met Stephen uh, from Canada. I'd like to meet him someday. Uh, Who that says hi? Oh yeah, he's here. All right, and I want to meet um, uh, Evan Gao. I'd love to meet that guy someday. Yeah, talk a little bit closer. Evan Gao, you got an open invitation to my house. You really do. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a joke, but they'll, uh, Evan Gao, they'll welcome you, Evan Gao. You are welcome in our house anytime. In this Tucson. is crazy. Um, which and is then, insane. It's insane. So the other All guy, he did was troll me at my workplace. I, he's hilarious, though. Him and Steven <laughs> getting do that Steven poster. Steven is the doinkler. Is this, though, if you guys don't know. the uh, Doing that poster and all that crazy bullshit behind the back. And then Steven called me up and said, hey, we Brandon's going to cheat on this game. We think he's going to cheat. We want, we want to film you being disappointed. <laughs> that was a great. And the whole thing was, was you know, it's only going to work if he cheats. And you did cheat. <laughs> <laughs> That was, oh, that that was, was a so great awesome. That was I remember, a great I remember, like we're both. That was like, so funny. It was only gonna work if you cheated, and it was like there was. Like, I did it instantly. Like, That's the funny part. Is I did it too early. <laughs> I did it so early, it wasn't even ready for the. Oh my god, uh, it was so hilarious. So that was great. That I'm was, working with that guy now. I'm working with. I'm doing some stuff with this though. It's gonna be oh, really good, fun. Good, good. I love that guy. Um, He's a good guy. Then, I met his dad. I finally met his dad. Oh yeah. Yeah, because you. He's been talking to you. I met his dad. His dad's like a. Healthcare guy in Canada who owns like a hospital, and uh, yeah, he's like a. I mean, they apparently their family, you know, they're uh, they're Asian and they were getting discriminated against a little bit in Asia or whatever. I mean, I'm sorry, in Canada, Mm -hmm. and so they all pulled their money together and just bought a hospital and said, "Fuck the like people that were you know." And so it was sick, and they sort of built a. I mean, they have a cool story. I like their. That's cool. Yeah. So the guy I want to meet, I met those. I've talked to those people. I haven't met him personally except for I've met Hudat. A couple times, um, I want to meet Linkus. Oh, you got to meet Lincoln. Linkus is the Linkus is my guy, dude. I yeah. I love Linkus and Maisie. Just just yeah. love them. So that's, that's, that's I don't do shot for Linkus right now. Let's, 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 fill me up here, son. Let me fill you up here. <laughs> I feel <all> parched. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. so much respect for that guy. He's so yeah. young. I and, saw him on something else, and and I was like, man, this guy's got his shit together. That guy's pretty. Down to I don't know if he's got shit together because his <laughs> girlfriend gets mad at him and he buys her Fortnite V Bucks. <laughs> That's his way to make good. I remember one time you were getting paid in some kind of virtual cash. Oh man! When you I were took first so starting many, out, when I was starting out, I took so many dumb jobs. You, yeah, and you were getting. And I'm like, they're like coupons. Like you weren't getting actual pay. Yeah. And I was like, I worked for six months for this company called FXO. Did League of Legends stuff, writing articles with them. They paid me in mouse pads. <laughs> They sent me multiple branded yeah. mouse pads. That was the fucking. And then, hey, and cheers I was like, to that. Hey man, just go to Costco, get a job. Mm-hmm. You said it nice, and you said it not so nice. <laughs> I did say it nicely. You said it nicely the first, first. four hundred times. First time you're like, hey, I love what you're doing with the League of Legends, but you got to think about this cool job at a Costco while you're figuring it out. I, it, and it didn't have to be Costco. I was like, that was an yeah. easy job. Get a job at a bank, get a job anywhere. I just. Make get a, a job. <laughs> I was no, working. no, you understand. I'm you didn't be, understand. I'm gonna but be you didn't understand. Level League of Legends. And I'm gonna All be, I'm saying is, where did I end up two years from now? That it worked out is, is a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. It's a grind set. It's a grind set. 
You don't know shit about grinding. I grinded. No. You think I make kernels by playing video games? No. You make kernel by <laughs> looking like a kernel and sitting on your ass. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? I'll, no, no, I'll be honest with you. The reason? Well, I'm sure you did a good job. I never saw your work. But one of the reasons you made kernel is that everybody likes you. Everybody in the military, when they meet my dad, after five minutes, they like him. That's not true. It, well, not everybody. <clears throat> not There's a couple people. But in like general, it. you're a very likable guy, and people trust you. And that's why, for the past, like, four years, you've been doing retirement speeches for people you barely know. <laughs> no. <laughs> they came oh, my, you, my crusher. Mm, mm. I wish they would have filmed it. This was my I've done a, I've done several retirements. And some were good and some were not so good. And, and But one was phenomenal. And that was Uncle Tim's. You did, did a good one, Uncle Tim's. I did Uncle Were we there? Who I think so. That? Yeah, I was, right? That was. When I, I was from row, yeah. I did the airplane speech. Or the airplane speech. Yeah. When I, my brother retired uh, a couple years ago. If you guys don't know my whole my whole family. No, two. No. Me, I mean, Uncle Tim. Yeah. No, no, no. Chris uh, is not. Um, it's, it is you and Tim, huh? Yeah. It's just I guess you're right. I never mind. Say back. All right. Um, he, Uncle Tim's kind of a nerd, now flash for Southwest Airlines, but he's still a nerd. But he, uh, when he was a little kid, watched that movie Airplane, and, was, and that's what inspired him to become a pilot. And so I used that as a theme to do his retirement speech. And retirement speeches are normally pretty formal and, and uh, not a time for joking. You might tell a joke. His whole retirement was my opportunity to just completely make fun of him for 45 minutes, <laughs> in which I just tore him. I mean, it was, every, it was like one after another, one liner, just boom, boom, boom. And I love being He's the center a of attention. Uh, man, it was a tight He's 45. a good speecher. He's a and good. And so I just, it, and the whole I just, I, mean, I, I, I should have taken my shit on the road, man, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dream job, being a stand-up comedian. All right, we got a couple of these. Uh, All right. Wasn't Lincoln's at your wedding? He was. It was my last minute ad, and I'm so glad I did because him and him and his wife are. Oh, he was at the wedding. Yeah, he was, but last second. I don't remember him. That's why I have met him. You have met him. You definitely met I him. I don't remember him then. Ah, uh, Swedish kid. Yeah, you met him very briefly, but I think he was pretty shy. I mean, he didn't know everybody, but he was there. I would well, I like to sit down and have a you know, I'd like to meet him. It's just funny. I met that guy. It was. Uh, it seems like it's just just a salt of the earth kind of. It guy. was a it was a thing called like. Bros versus pros. It was something like oh, bros versus pros. I remember you were gonna do that. It was something like that where it was um, just randomly assigned partner pros. And I remember thinking, as long as I don't get that guy Linkus, I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> I knew the other two pros. I didn't know him. As long as I don't get him, I'll be happy. And I got Linkus, and I was like, oh, this is gonna fucking suck. And we talked, and we hit it off instantly. And then That's from cool. there, we started talking. And then he ended up moving to LA, and we hung out a lot. And I love that guy. I think where, he, he lives in Texas. He lives in Texas now because apparently LA sucked for him. Yeah, you live near smart. Dallas by chance? We're not gonna give. Let's give his address while we're at it. No, no, no. Is he living around, around Dallas? Is a huge metropolitan. Uh, yeah, he's work. around. He's around Dallas. Because I might be going to Dallas next week. Maybe you can meet him. I'll, I'll take him to dinner. I like taking him to dinner. Uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Anyway, uh, let's see. Right. We got more questions. Uh, I'll be. Hey, hey Truck. I'll be starting college in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be majoring in astrophysics. And while it's absolutely passion, has good job opportunities. I'm worried it'll be too hard. I'll be miserable. Any advice? Be honest. As a marketing major, and what you major in? <laughs> Human resource management. <laughs> we don't get you can't tell you. But I'll tell you if you're passionate about it, uh let your passion be your guide, man. Give it a shot. And and listen to Neil deGrasse. <laughs> oh, this is the most that guy of my dad. My dad's a Neil, De Neil deGrasse Tyson fan, and I, I, I can't love that I guy. can't I don't That guy will break it down. <laughs> <laughs> That guy no, will take complex dude, no. subjects and break it down. He will fucking he will That's, he will find like the most um, wet blanket way to <laughs> like like if people are talking about a rainbow or something like wow you're mad, you're happy at just water hitting electrons <laughs> he he does he he's a fucking he's a scientist he's. He, so hey, mm. it will be hard. Guy, can you imagine if it was easy? That would suck. yeah, it's gonna be hard. Hey, listen, I, I watched Oppenheimer and I've decided this: the world needs more people that are actually interested in hard shit like astrophysics. Yeah, we have nobody left. I hope you do well. I hope you stick it through because we have nobody left. Everyone is brain rotted. Yeah. Everyone's watching TikTok. We got nobody left. I hope to God you actually put the time in. We need you, bro. We need you, bro. Especially here in the USA, we got nobody left. You'll have you'll have a, an abundance of job opportunities. That's yeah. for sure. Stick through it. But uh, it will be miserable. It, I guarantee it'll be miserable. But anything worth having is worth fighting for. And 
get after it, man. And I, having said that, I there's I couldn't get through the. I remember <laughs> when I was in college, we had uh, C plus plus programming was one yes. of the, like one of the damn year old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is old. C plus <laughs> plus, and it was in the I was in I was in ROTC, and someone had had marked over it Book of Satan, because <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking hard. <laughs> And, and uh, so it is hard. Of course it's hard. Being a doctor is hard. Being, you know, a lot of things are hard. Everybody can't go fat, dumb, and stupid becoming a streamer on uh, Twitch. <laughs> okay, that's the, hardest, that's the hardest job there is. Braver than the Marines. There's nobody harder than a streamer. You got to go out there. You got to take your licks. You got everyone saying shit about you. You got to get up there on stage. You got to make people laugh. It's a hard job. It is, it's not, it's not unhard. Mm. There's some you, know, you do research. You got it. Yeah, I will tell you this. One of the things. Job. One of the things that mm. uh, amazes me when I watch you is the shit you know about some random shit. You saw me read the paper. Actually, I didn't read the paper in front of you, but you I did. But you I do did, read. It. I, I do read the do paper. Read he still gets the paper delivered. I read the fucking paper like an old man. At one four seven five. <laughs> <laughs> you scare me. <laughs> I thought you were drunk about to fucking leak my address. <laughs> oh God, goodness gracious! Goodness gracious! All right. Uh, all right. Hey, let's see what else so we got? Good luck to you. If you need help, ask Zach. Ask Brian, and he'll buy you some books. Advice for being more outgoing. That's more you question than me. I'm. I'm not that. I'm. I'm all right. You're a charmer. You really are. You got that smile. You. You. Have, you have that a damn very, smile. <laughs> no, you do. You have a very disarming personality. Smart. I mean. <laughs> Um, President Clinton will not be one of my favorite people. <laughs> I would love. I tell you, if I could, if I could vote for someone for president, it would not be. It would not be Clinton. If I could party with someone, it would definitely be President Clinton. That guy, he's smart as hell. He wrote Scott, I and mean, there's no denying. That's what, such a great personality. No, they see what, I mean, this is, that's a yeah. '90s era debate. Yeah, they I don't know. even know it. They don't even know. It. Not a great guy. Not a great character reference. He he had one indiscretion. A well, probably probably one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last time we had a balanced budget. I I I would give my fucking right thumb oh, for a President would, Clinton would, nowadays. Yeah. You know, nowadays like, things have fallen so far. Yeah. I, I would I, love a President get, Clinton, if I bro. Get Clinton back. A he was the last time we had fucking no debt. It was ugh, we're so in debt right now. It makes me so mad. Yeah. I, I would take Clinton back in a heartbeat. I, you know, very personable. Which in <sighs> politics you need to be personable. Yeah, we got you know, allies, don't we? Got, yeah, have some allies. Exactly. Anyway, I don't get political, but um, he can still run. I don't want Clinton now. <laughs> Clinton now is he's old. He's old. He's, he's got his shadow of himself. Um, he can't run. He already he already served two terms. Yeah, that's how they get you. <laughs> Let's can, get Bush can, back, dude. I'll even take Bush. He would. Uh, he could have Hillary <laughs> run, and she could. She could, he could Hillary's a uh, losing cause. Let me tell you, she's not likable. <laughs> Don't get into it. You, she's not likable. You said a lot of things about Hillary Clinton that I can't repeat here. I yeah, need to let's keep like it. Her. I didn't like her. Yeah. I'd take her over somebody else. So you need to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next question. All right. All right. Uh, next question. What else we got? Let's see. Um, now I've forgotten the guy's name. The next question. Guys. How did you come up with the name Brandon? Where'd that come from? Oh, uh, that's actually a very interesting question. So when I was in uh, uh, junior college, I went to junior college first at Orange Co Orange Coast College in Southern California. Um, there was a guy from South Africa, and his name was Brandon, and he was he was like a really cool guy. He was from South Africa, and, and I remember. And Is that my real dad? <laughs> <laughs> no, Tracy never met him. <laughs> Tracy would have fallen in love with him because the guy was. He, I mean. Heterosexual hey, guy, if you're out there, you don't want to meet you. <laughs> He's a good-looking guy, had had that uh, South African accent. But this is during apartheid, and uh, Brandon Musk. <laughs> he, uh, I just thought the guy was cool. I thought, and so I, and I was like, hey, maybe if I name him something cool, he'll be. He didn't work out, but yeah, uh, I named him Brandon. The, the, I knew a cool guy named Brandon, and you know, like I said, didn't work All right. out. But. All right, it worked out. I like the name Brandon. I've always liked it. <laughs> You know what's so funny? Um, I, I, I don't want to talk about politics, but someone in our family has a Let's Go Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh. So someone in our family has a Let's Go Brandon. 
We got uh, a deep Republican bench in the Ewing family. Yeah. I got, or, the, or the mine's not quite extended. that deep. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Grammy, your yeah. grandmother saw the the flag waving in their front yard. Let's go, Brandon, and thought it was a reference. To you. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, that's so awesome that they're waving a flag in their front yard for their nephew. And I was like, Grammy, I, I so wish that was true, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. You know about that? That's yeah. great. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> anyway, it's so fun. I get so many tweets and stuff. Let's go, Brandon. Uh, it's dumb because his name is not even Brandon. It's just a dumb thing. <sighs> it's it is kind of juvenile. I mean, I don't, care. I don't care if you don't like Biden. I really don't. Not my favorite guy either. He's not my favorite guy but, either, but to be just honest. Just say, fuck Joe Biden. Just yeah, say, say it with your chest. We've always been saying that. Just say it. Don't be, don't mill your mouth around. <sighs> true, okay. true, true, true. I like that sport. Though. I like Let's Go Brandon. It makes me feel good. <laughs> Motivates uh, me. I need a little support Motivates now and then. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if we got any other questions. Uh, where were you on January 6th? Good question. I was right there front lines, man. <laughs> <laughs> Taking our country You're back. taking our country back. You're there. Um, I have no idea. I was probably coming back from Vegas. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where I was. Greatest point Brandon's ever done. Greatest disappointment Brandon's ever That's done. That's a good question. Greatest. I'm trying to think of when you were most mad at me. It's probably something not not standard. I mean, the, the Atlanta thing would be the obvious answer, but I don't think it's the answer. I think it was like. Uh, um, man, that's a hard one because maybe I was fighting with mom or something. I don't know. I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So you're gonna you're gonna laugh at me, but I disappointment. It's all relative. I'm disappointed. Um, yeah, I was disappointed you didn't get a job right after college, and then I was the fool. I mean, I I look stupid back on that, right? Because because you had a plan. You were. That's probably when we were most at odds. If I had to think of my whole life, we were most. At, no, at, it was in it was in uh, high Arizona. school. Really, you think so? I, I remember us not talking. I remember us. It was after I pulled the plug on your on your game. Yeah, and that's we probably talking. it. And so, um, uh, and so we were we were at odds at that time. And you know, I've said this before in your chat before. Mm. I'm not. I don't have a great relationship with my dad. It's distant. We're 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 cordial. We're friendly, but we're not. It's not deep. And uh, I didn't want that for us. And I was like, man, this is this is where we're headed. This is where Brandon and I are we headed. We were never headed there. We were well, never headed that, there. I, felt, I was like, I don't. We were never headed there. I hope not. I, I was a little but, bit of an angsty team, but I always loved but I, my but dad. Of course, and I always loved you. But I did not want, I didn't want to go down that path. And so I remember having that conversation. like, hey, you know I don't have a strong relationship with my dad. And I want to always have a strong relationship with you. And so let's keep it going. And we made up right there. It was only maybe a month, maybe yeah. in a couple of weeks. It was only a couple of three weeks, something yeah, like that. Whatever. But anyway, don't get too don't get sappy. Don't get too sappy on it. <laughs> don't, you tell you don't talk about it. You're sappy as hell. <laughs> I am. You're Mr. Sappy. Lo- you know, I love you. Love you and your brother and your mother. <laughs> I love you like you're my own. <laughs> you're my own dad. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really don't think it has ever been too bad. I've honestly. never, you know, so disappointment. Because I know friends that have had them way worse, so you I know, really can't think of. I watched, uh, I watched Brandon play flag football. <laughs> <laughs> I played every sport once, and you didn't like any of them. You didn't like any of them. I didn't like any of them. You didn't like any of them. I didn't like your performance in any of them. That's for sure. Yeah, you know it's good. I let you know early that I wasn't gonna be your fucking yeah, Andre Agassi. I, was... <laughs> uh, I can see. I can see. see. When I wasn't gonna be the kid that you could live out your sports dreams with. Right. I wasn't an athlete either, but I thought you could be. Mm-hmm. Wasn't for me. I was good. At tr- I was good at track. You were okay. You ran around the circles. That was great. I was good at track. People don't talk about me enough. <laughs> I think, I think you've already said too much. I'm, 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 I have a... Uh, I could be good at track. Zach, no better, you know. Zach, he worse. Swam. Don't say no better. Zach was worse. He swam. He was a swimmer. <laughs> no, no. Zach's not... He's no. a swimmer. He could have been the All next right. uh, Michael Phelps. He could have... <laughs> if he was two <laughs> feet taller and the longer wingspan and tried. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of things that he needed help with, but he was almost there. 
Uh, what's your best times in track? I had a good mile and a half mile. I don't remember what they were. They were good. I was a silver medalist. I was a silver server. Number two. Uh, there's one freaking nature kid. Um, let's see what we got. Any other no questions? great disappointments in, Zach, in Brandon or Zach. No, we turned out right. I didn't turn out great to me. Uh, was the greatest you know disappointment so Dad Rock's ever done? That's an interesting question. I don't well, think, I okay. honestly don't think. Greatest disappointment you've ever done Ooh, for me. Yeah, you don't know, but go ahead. What do you think it is? I mean, if you have an answer, but I honestly don't think. I honestly don't think of good times. Here's one thing that sticks with me. I don't even remember it, but I remember we moved to Germany. Mm -hmm. I hated it at the beginning. It was so cold, mm -hmm. so and none cool. of my shit worked, and I plugged in the N64, and it broke. <laughs> and then you went out that night, maybe it was that night, and you stood in line, and you got us a German N64. And I was I remember that to this day. It's been twenty five years. Yeah. And that was so nice. And I was I I liked it then and I like it now. That's not a disappointment. That's a that proud. That's a, well, <laughs> the question. That's, I don't know. That's what I come to mind as I remember how good that, that was. That, you know, it's like you talk about parent fails. And I'm telling you, the hardest job in the world, I remember the, the kids having a, a guy that's having a kid coming up. It's the hardest most thankless job is being a parent because all you want to do is good by your kids and and through even your best efforts all you can do is fuck up that's all you can do is i mean it's every parent talks thing. like this every, every parent talks like oh it's the but i remember <laughs> you're talking about going to germany and we were living in florida yeah on the beach and we had the perfect life we had a good situation in florida yeah good situation. good friends good little yeah, good neighborhood across the street good neighborhood i remember Everybody mom crying <laughs> Yeah, that's got to be tough. That's uh, got to be mom's tough. Mom's crying. I remember you like in the mid, it's the middle of school year. Yeah, mom is because we we go from Florida, perfect beachfront base house. We're going to Germany, and we land in Germany. It's already snowing. It's a blizzard when we land. Yeah, it was snowing. And my mom is like trying crying. to hide, but she's crying. She was crying. She's crying in the van ride back to the base. She was just like, "This is gonna be so hard," and you know, no one spoke English. <laughs> Oh. They all spoke English. They spoke. That's revisionist history right there. No. They, everybody spoke English. They didn't anyway, all speak English. But I remember we got there like December 19th. And we didn't bring any. We were moving. So we didn't have a lot of Christmas presents. And someone said, oh, you go in the Netherlands and you can buy all the, all the crap you want for Christmas. And so we went in there and we bought a bunch of Nintendo 64 crap. You already had a Nintendo game. Yeah. Console. And we went into this. It was, it was a it was a it was a Dutch Toys R Us, yep, pre bankruptcy, and we bought a bunch of of uh, PAL formatted games. NTSC is yeah the, yeah yeah. We yep. bought a bunch of PAL games. They wouldn't play tons of them, and <laughs> we probably bought like ten or fifteen games. Yeah. And Christmas Day, we wake up and. We got this game. We got that game. Every oh. Christmas present didn't work. We couldn't. We couldn't play any of them. Go in to plug it in, and uh, it's PAL format. It doesn't play in the NTSC game. And I remember Zach looking up to me like, "Wouldn't Santa have known?" You talk about what the hell was Santa thinking? Why would he get us all these PAL games? We, have, we know we have an NTSC 64. Wouldn't Santa have known? <laughs> That's so funny. Fail. Marketing Monday, fail. Yeah, that was terrible. Uh, that I was, was a little bit older. I knew what was going on, and I knew you waited in line because it was hard uh, to get those N64s oh, back yeah. in the day. Those were popular. Yeah. And you got one, and that was really nice. Anyway. And then I would hog it from Zach, and he'd get so mad. Remember when he took all the remote controls and locked that was Fuck it. I can't Can I tell the chat? Is that a story? That's brilliant. My mom and dad left for the week or weekend or whatever. It was me and Zach alone. The month. And the month. and it was a month, maybe? No, it was a weekend. It was it a was weekend. A, whatever. You guys weren't that old. And I I You're got in a fight with Zach. I got in a fight with Zach day one. And I was like, listen, I'm going to be using this stuff around here. And then I went to I sleep. And when I woke up, every single electronic in the house and all the snacks, all the food, all the pillows, every fun thing in the house he had taken and locked in one room. And he didn't come out all weekend. <laughs> there was nothing left. I was stuck the whole weekend with nothing. I had no console, no TV. I was stuck. I was just banging on the door. I saw that. He was just in there gaming up a storm, having a good time. And I remember I would, I would get so, I would tire myself out banging on it and I'd fall asleep and he would sneak out, go to the bathroom and go again. <laughs> I would try to catch him. Oh, and I called my parents and I was like trying to complain and they just laughed and laughed and laughed. 
I, he, I, you know, I think you're a smart guy. I really do. I think you're one of the smartest people I know. Zach is smarter. Zach, he is not smarter. He's he's wily. He is, he is wily. He's got something. He's he's he's, he's not smarter because he doesn't understand human beings. <laughs> He never. He doesn't understand. You gotta just. If you say something nice, sometimes you can get a lot farther than being an asshole. He doesn't get it. He's, <laughs> he's house. Not an ass. He's house MD. He is, he is a house. He's. He's. This is. This is what it is. Take it or leave it. You know. Yeah. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. This is the. This is the. He truth. doesn't get it. He could. Yeah. He's not a politician at all. You know what? I already tell you this. What he told me one time. What? We were. We we're talking about. And, and this. I still believe this. Good people. Uh, smart people can disagree and both be right. There's not one universal answer for everything, and and Zach doesn't see the world that way. Zach no, he's very this, this is black way, and white. Black and white, and I'm always right. He he is, you know. And so I said, I go, Zach. Good people, for their own reasons, can disagree about the same subject, and they can both be right. And I go, I go, you're so arrogant that you he think is, that you're always. He is arrogant. He's arrogant. And you know what he said to me? What? He said, if arrogance is my only fault, I have a right to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kid that I once saw eat a full pail of dirt. <laughs> Top to bottom. A full pail of dirt. Ow, ow, ow. I once saw him. He had a skate fast, eat ass, Bush did 9-11 tattoo. He, what? He's, this kid... The arrogance is off the charts, but he is he's smart. Arrogant. He's a he's, smart kid. He's seldom wrong, but lately he's he's been wrong more. He's often. wrong a lot because he, he's, he's, he's gotten sloppy. Got sloppy, yeah. But he's a good kid. He, I love him. I love him too. I love, love him. him to death. I love that Kenzie too. I love his. I love his girlfriend. <sighs> Which one? I might, <laughs> I might as well call him his wife. They're never gonna get married. They're Which one? He's got fucking fifteen girlfriends at some point. He had two at the same time. At he had two at the same time at the same family event. At the same family event, he brought both. I'm girls. just gonna say this on blast. My brother once showed up to a family event with two girlfriends. He brought them both, and they knew about it. This well, is yeah, a they, real they story. They were together. They were together. They, it was they a thruple. It was a thruple. It was insane. And I was um, like, and Tracy and I, mom and I, are like, it's insane. Don't make a big deal. Don't make a big deal. Don't make. A big deal. We are just trying to. Well, what the fuck's going on? Everyone's trying to figure it out. We knew what was going on. He had a threesome. Okay, well. It was okay. insane. He was it insane. was insane. It was insane. It was insane, it was, it was insane to do it to a but, family event. But one of them stuck it out and one of them didn't. Yeah. And I love Kinsey. She's great. I love Kinsey, too. She's great. Her and I get along, too. That's And that's, you know, that's that's a blessing. You don't know this as a parent. He's younger. He's younger. Asking. A little bit younger. Three years younger. Um, to have both brothers get along is is not common, not uncommon, but it's not guaranteed. And to have the significant others of both of the sons get along. What did that trio think of Brandon going to Sweden to cover as a teenager? Dreamhack as a teenager? Fucking nightmare. Mm, good question. It was a very important pivotal moment for my career. It was. I, we've yeah. answered this before on chat. Fucking nightmare. It was, it was the scariest thing I've ever done as a parent. <laughs> It, 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 you talk about red flags. I met a guy online says I can stay with him in our hotel. Okay, yeah. he's gonna get gang raped, and it, <laughs> just, I'll never see him again. There no. was oh, it was horrible. Oh my it was god! Hor- oh my god! You have no because you're not a parent. You have no frame of you reference. You are ridiculous. There if you hadn't so let me go on that, would have fucked up my whole life. I'm so glad that I have convinced you. You were good. You would have figured out. That was else. so important for me. How old was I? I was, I was 18. You were 18. That was the. I just turned 18. If you had been 17, you wouldn't have gone. If you would have been one year younger, you wouldn't have gone. I had this conversation with your mom. I was like, hey, cut the umbilical cord. He's 18 years old. Yeah. He can make his own decisions. Let me go. We gotta let him go, and I swear to God, we couldn't sleep the entire time. I lived in a fucking. It was so funny. It was the tiniest hostel in Sweden. I was in like a race car half bed on top of, <laughs> next to an IKEA. I was in the tiniest hostel in Sweden for like fucking eight dollars a night, and I did it. And I made interviews with uh, with StarCraft players and League of Legends players, and I used it to get a job, and it worked out, and it was great. It was great. It was I was so night- happy. It was a nightmare for your mother and I. I was we four did. strangers packed into a fucking tiniest room. 
A guy I met online so I could stay with him. Oh, that sounds legit. That sounds pretty good. What could go wrong with there? Uh, although I will tell you this. I begged them. I begged them so hard. They did. said no so many times. We didn't say. Okay. You said no. I asked you. You said no. I begged you. You said no. And I literally, I, I pleaded. I said, this is, I will literally lose. I'll kill myself. <laughs> I mean, I, you have to let me go. This is like my biggest That's chance of all time. You and you find, it, I'm not. I remember how badly I had to convince you guys. Because both of you guys said no, no, no. So many. You don't know what it is to be a parent. You have no idea. I have a dog. All right, I get it. I'll never <laughs> let it out of my sight. You have no idea, dude. You have no idea what it is to be a parent. It's. I mean, it's fucking. You had sex one time. It doesn't make you a fucking Gandhi. You know. <laughs> we you got woman. knocked up at ASU. You. You have something. a kid. All right. Let me tell you something. All right. There is a there is a scene in the movie called Parenthood with Steve Martin, and I can't remember the <laughs> actor's name. Camera, which is too bad because it was, a, it was it's the scene that defines parenthood mm. and, and it's about uh, Steve Martin's talking to it's his dad and he, he goes he goes there, there's a time and, and you and you know this you grew up sick you were when you were born you were premature six weeks and you was I'm a miracle baby you. you are a miracle baby touch and go there at the very beginning and uh, I'm always told the story that when I was being born they brought a priest in. Yeah, to give the last to rights. give the last rites because I was and gonna mom die. Her out. And then mom said, "Get that fucking priest out of here." Yeah, she would. She was so not mad. Not so religious, Tracy. Not too. Brutal. She said she was so mad. Guy. They get, sent a priest in. Yeah, we didn't think you were gonna make it. You, you were very touch and go. Anyway, in the movie, Steve Martin and uh, Jason Robards. Jason Robards. You guys, chat, look this up. If you're thinking about being a parent, this is this is what it means to be a parent. He goes, you know, you got. He's talking. He's talking to Steve Martin's character. He's like, you got sick, and it was, we were very worried. You didn't think you were making. And I always, I was always mad at you for that. I was always mad for the how you that made me feel. I wasn't mad at you, but he goes, and I'm just telling you something. It never ends, and this is true. It never ends. Mm. You can be 18. You can be 40. You can be 100. As long as I'm your dad, I will never. Ever stop worrying about you. It never goes away. There's never a time like, ah, oh, shit. You know what? Brandon's successful. He's doing Twitch. He's got a chat. He's going. Everything's great. We we can relax. It never stops. It never stops. And so, um, it's it's a. I mean, I don't want to say it's a bird, but it's just, it's just part of the thing of being uh, your very dad. Very nice. Very sweet. Wow. Yeah, right, he's gotten question. sweeter with time. This is I about, have got time. I've gotten. Didn't you run out of money and eat mailed in snacks? You remember this? When I was in Korea. Ran out of money. Mom was with me. I ran out of money. I lost my card or whatever. I was stuck in Korea. You don't have your card right now, do you? Right there. You saw it. No. That's you, my new one. Where's your driver's license? Don't try that fucking. <laughs> don't switch the subject. Where's your driver's license? Don't switch the subject. <laughs> Uh, I was stuck in Korea and I had no money and all my friends left for Taiwan like as a break or something and I was stuck alone. You had a bunch of candy? And my, my yeah, mom sent me like a big box of Peeps and Haribo <laughs> and I had to live off that for like yeah. a week and I felt, I remember I was vomiting. Oh, yeah. I felt so sad. I mean, it was just the worst I my body's I ever you, felt. Go down to Osan. You have your military ID. Yeah. Go down to Osan. I remember I, I skateboarded. I skateboarded across the whole city to Osan. Oh, I get in there. And they, and they wouldn't let you buy shit. And they wouldn't let me buy shit because there was some fucking rule. Yeah. And then I got a Navy credit card because it was a Navy base. And it's not Air Force. It's Air Force. No. It, I mean, well, it was a you Navy the Federal Navy Credit Union. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you had to put money in it. So it was only three days for them to approve it. And I would I would skateboard the whole trip to Osan every day. And they would tell me, nope. <laughs> and I would go all the way back and I would be hungrier the whole trip. And I would have to eat more candy. Oh, it was the most, <laughs> so what did you do most top, what unhealthy did you do? I've ever been in my life was in Korea. To top that off? Drink. Birthday. I okay. drank. I drank like crazy. I drank like a fucking fish. I've never been more healthy than living in Korea. They have a bad system there. They just drink too much. Or maybe you took advantage of the situation. No. All right. Next question. Uh, let's What's see. the next question? I, let's I, see. I forgot the guy's name. Let's uh, see. We are, we're getting near the end here. I'm, 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 I'll probably end at 10. So we got 10 minutes. already 10 o'clock? I don't want to get caught. Let's get some tacos. We, we, we did tacos. that because I'm drunk and I want some tacos. Who's gonna drive? One more. One more. We're gonna do a. It's very close. Right. We'll do a quick. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Driving. It's not DUI if you're only two miles away. Exactly. The cops will understand. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Um, this is fun. I can't believe anybody would watch this, though. You know, it's, I feel bad, though. Why? Because I love this. We're having a good time. Mom's going to be so jealous. She... <laughs> <laughs> Mom's watching. Mom's probably watching the, at least the first half. I don't know if she's watching right now. It's a little late. She's, she's like, I'm tired. Of she it. clocked she's in bed out. By nine. Mom's mad. She's mad. She didn't get to do this. She's gonna be mad at be, you. Well, no. The thing of it is, is I can I can displace it. I don't. Know. All right, I'll finish the drink. How many people are watching the show? Can you tell how many people are on? Uh, Four thousand one hundred and fifty. So four thousand. I don't think about it. I, I see it as you and I talking and maybe oh. who that's watching. I don't think about 4,000 people watching this. Mom gets freaked out about it, so she doesn't like to be in front of an audience. Yeah, she does clam up a little bit. But she, I mean, we just don't, I don't get to hang out with her enough where I'm just drinking and talking. I want to hang out. I want to. Well, can I save, it. can I have that Formula One in Las Vegas? Yeah, we're, we're going to Vegas for Formula One. I don't give a shit about Formula One, but I'm going because my parents are there. I'm bringing stands in. His wife, and we're gonna have a good time. Um, this is gonna be a good time. I can't wait. Say some of you there. Some of you gonna be there? I mean, oh, well, hey, let's let's pour some. Let's do some shit. We're gonna, I, I had been with Vegas in Vegas with you, and you were wearing some hat, and someone recognized you. Everyone that I've met in person has been nice, I, even since yeah. everything. I mean, everyone's been nice. Me and Ari, we just saw Mission Impossible a few days ago, and Terrible two. Movie. Yeah, I didn't like it. Two guys came up. You hate rock? I love your stuff, man. I love Marketing Monday. They both gave us a big hug. They were dead out. Of, we know Ari, too. They were oh, so really? nice. So you, someone said they liked Marketing Monday, and you gave them a big hug? When I say <laughs> I like Marketing Monday, you gave me this shit? Fucking wrong. Well, I need all the fans I can get, dude, after. <laughs> I can't be turning people away at the door, dude. I got I to gotta fucking I, give hugs at this point, dude. I got to fucking. I mean, I know you regret everything yeah, that happened. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, yeah. I know you regret everything. All right. But I, man, I think you came out stronger. Uh, a little bit. Some some things I do feel. I, yeah. Well, uh, I feel like I had I to mean, toughen up you, a little bit. I mean, I, 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 all things aside, if you never make a mistake, that means you never did anything. Life is about making mistakes and learning from it, and then getting better. Like, if you kept doing the wrong thing over and over and over, and I don't care what it is, if you kept doing the wrong thing over and over, then then you're an idiot. And you're not a good person. But people make mistakes. I make mistakes. Everyone's made mistakes. And you're like, you know what? That's not a good thing to do. I shouldn't do that anymore. And so I don't do that. <clears throat> you, and I, I I get it. I'm biased. You're, you're my biased. You're biased. I, you're I biased. I'm, you're I'm, biased. Not, you're I'm, biased. Not, I'm not an advocate for you because yeah. <laughs> I love you and you're my son. Yeah. But someone says, you know what? I fucked up. I, I apologize. And you're apologizing because that was, that was shit. Okay, I get it. But... It was heartfelt. Um, That's what Linkus told me. I'm gonna, That's why I love Linkus. He told me, he said, only someone who is truly sorry would do an apology video that dumb. <laughs> he was like, well, that was so bad so for let you. Me, let me, the only reason you do that is if you were truly sorry, because that was a fucking dumb stream. No. I was like, Linkus, I love you, bro. <sighs> Two th I got, I, I'm going to comment on that. But first uh, I want to say, um, hey, I'm going to make it right. And a lot of people say, Hey, I fucked up. I'm sorry. And then they leave it at that. A lot mm. of people say, I fucked up. I'm sorry. And I'm going to make it better. Nobody says, I fucked up. I'm going to make it better. And then actually follow through and make it better. And I say nobody. I mean, minimal people yeah. actually do that. And so I hats off to you. And when I say you're my hero, All right. that's, that's good. I don't want to talk about it too much, okay, but, but listen, that's very the nice. Thing, the thing about, that's very nice. Because I want to go back to, um, what was the point? <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> I'm getting a little drunk too, chat. Oh, I got a nah, couple nah, shots. Nah, I'm a little bit of a, a lightweight. All right, okay. I'm lightweight. Uh, we'll do a, it was an easy one. Uh, easy. What team do you support in F1? Uh, whatever team they showed in fucking the Netflix show, because that's what this guy is. He's a he's a classic. No F1 so fan. So you're gonna you're gonna boo me. It's Red Bull, but it's not. Oh. that it's not that. Oh, next we're stopping. It's shocker. It's, no, <laughs> no, it's uh, it's uh, Pettis. I, I, and that you know, cause he's a doc kid. A doc kid. There's a uh, Smash Brothers I play. Yeah. Before 2013, everyone that loved that game, they loved it. They played it in garages and basements. And in 2013, a documentary comes out that makes it look really cool. Yeah. That's when I got into it. That's when everybody got into it. And they're all called doc kids because they didn't, they didn't really love it before it was cool. They loved it. Afterwards. Well, I I got into it because of yeah, you're a Netflix. doc kid. You're a no, Netflix I got, doc kid. I got I got it because of Netflix. Mm. The behind the scenes shit. Max Verstappen, 
phenomenal driver. I mean, he's driving the same wow. car as Pettis. I mean, he's, he's exactly the same car, and he, he out drives him. But uh, being an American guy, this was before we had the guy from uh, Williams, an American driver. I want it. I well, my, uh, Pettis is from New, uh, from Mexico. He's North, North American. That's my guy. And so I I still follow Pettis. I will always follow Pettis, even if he changes teams, which is probably going to happen, because uh, you know Red Bulls whatever. Um, Pettis needs his day. But yeah, that's, that's my guy. I like. Who him. asked? I don't know. Who asked? <laughs> What's the proudest you've been of Atrioc? What's the proudest you've been? It, yeah, it was your it was your update video. It was your update video. What about when I got that job at Twitch? I remember it was a very important moment for me. It was whenever you first toured Twitch HQ. Yeah, that was pretty good. Remember that? Because you would talk so much shit about no, gaming. Oh, come on. You did. You, you did. You sound like a demon. You were you were like, gaming's not real. You'll never make any money in it. You got to fucking figure your life out. Get a job at Costco. You're wasting your time. No, you make it sound like Costco was like... Well, you that was like said the, it. That was Nirvana. And oh, then, you got a job at Costco. You'd have explained. That's what you implied. No. And then you showed up at Twitch, and you looked around, and there was like this nice office, and everyone was respecting me, and you were crying. You were tearing no, up. Oh, I was. No, come on. That's how I remember it. <laughs> That's you how I remember it. You remember a lot of shit wrong. I don't know. I, I, was, don't know. I mean, I was like, oh, this is cool. This is very cool. Your your update video a couple weeks ago. That was by far. I well, like, that's good. I, I was, I was like, this, this shit, this guy, this, he's a hero. He's good. That's good. And then, and then watching um, all the the positive comments, which made me feel it wasn't that made me proud of you, because I was already proud of you, despite what anybody would have said. I was get s- these guys some car keys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Uber to tacos. We'll have to, no, I'm just, actually drunk. I was, I'm I was actually happily, a little bit drunk. I was just happy that uh, yeah, people, these people guys got it. put these guys on the wheel of a vehicle, please, <laughs> as soon as possible. Shot to that. Let's go. Yes, sir. One more. You, I, you know, I hope. I really do hope that. Uh, I know your most of your chats are younger. They're younger. They're younger. 1824 is my demographic. I hope, uh, I hope that you guys have an equally. No matter what it revolves around, I hope you have an equally positive relationship with your father or your mother. Cheers. And not everybody's got a dad. Fuck me. Oh, God. Or an uncle, whoever. Oh. Whoever. <laughs> Someone in your life. It's good to have somebody. <laughs> Just keep going. Damn, another, too old here? Another question. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Thanks what's, so- what's who that's question? I mean, you who that, question. Do you have a question? Let me see. Uh, who that? Can you single yeah, it I'm actually, Yeah, I'm actually feeling it. Who that 950? Who that you said? We rooming together in Vegas? <laughs> who that? Open invitation. Yeah, my dad loves you more than... I love you more than I love Brandon. Easily. 100%. He talks so... Because po- you drove me to that airport and the Chipotle that one time. Oh, my God. I was... Oh, biggest disappointment... That was the day. That was the day. One thousand percent. Who that? You get out to Vegas from from where you live in Texas. You have a you have a place to stay. I'm not gonna buy you a ticket, you dumb fuck. But you have a place to stay in Las Vegas. We have a four bedroom suite on the finish line in Las Vegas for the Formula One. There'll be plenty of kids Who there. Do I, not show up. You are not invited. <laughs> we don't know you that well. <laughs> Who that? You are hundred percent invited. Bring seven of your friends. <laughs> not neg neg, please. <laughs> oh neg neg. Anyone but neg neg, please. Exist. Anyone but neg neg. The guy that doesn't exist. <sighs> Who that? You are hundred percent welcome to come. We have we. Ha- I got you know. We have a time share. I know there's got a, a people frowny face on. Uh, on timeshares, but we have a timeshare on the finish line. My parents have like three timeshares are going to inherit to me when I'm they're dead. I'm going to be stuck with these fucking payments till I'm fucking 95, dude. My dad yeah. told me, yeah, I don't know how to get rid of it, but <laughs> you'll have to deal. I love Bro, that. these I fucking love- timeshares are fucking going to bankrupt me and Ari. Whatever. 
<laughs> you say whatever because you don't have an answer. You don't know what the fucking solution is. You know, I saw. I was at, I was at a bathroom in a restaurant the other day. It says, "You know you've won a uh, You know you've won an argument when the other person says whatever." <laughs> I just said, Whatever is the fucking. I, I got nothing. Uh, it is what it is. It is what. Oh, it is God, what. Oh, say, where are hey, you? Um, hey, hey, Robert Stacks, thank you for the gifted. Um, I don't know what that means. Thank Robert Stacks. He's supporting this stream. He's Gave 10 it? gifted. Robert oh. Stacks unsolved. Get, what's that mean, gifted? He gifted $50 to the stream. Actually, he gave 25 He gave 25 to Jeff Bezos and 25 to me. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's sick. Uh, uh. Who that? Seriously, we're, they're going to be a young, bunch of. I say kids because they're. My young parents young. love you, who that? They love, love you. You know, we saw they know our, you for two seconds. They love you. <laughs> More than two seconds. Saw them at our house. Saw them in Austin, Texas. That's it. And, and randomly, they showed up at the same restaurant. Yeah, that is crazy. That was that was insane. That is a one in a million. That was and we and I had gone there. I was like, I hope we see who that. We never connected. Went to that restaurant and there he was with a bunch of and Neg Neg wasn't there because he doesn't Idiot. exist. Doesn't what a exist. dumbass, dude! He fucking bunch missed his friends. chance. Yeah. And then I go, I go, hey, let's buy their dinner, and they'd already paid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you come to Vegas. I'm it. still not gonna buy your dinner, but I bought their dinners at TwitchCon. They didn't say shit. Good. Yeah, they didn't say shit. They said they, they didn't say no, shit. No, we I we offered to buy their dinner. And then they said they'd already shit, paid. Dude. They said, you know what? Brandon already bought our dinner a couple days ago. I bought dinners three days at TwitchCon. They didn't say shit, dude. Who does? So you know, who knows the story? He's revisionist. You know story. He didn't the say thank I, you, bro. The disappointment was who that drives down from Phoenix, drives from Phoenix to Tucson to take you from, tu from our house to the Tucson airport, which is 10 minutes away. No, that's 20 minutes away. And then who that takes you to Chipotle and buys you dinner. He, <laughs> he, he drives two hours to pick you up. Yeah. Takes you to dinner. That's my right. Uh, okay, that's my are. right. Uh, I've been promoting this guy free. All right, free exposure. I want to I want to introduce you to Khloe Kardashian here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking entirely. That's my dad's most recent reference, so get used to it. That's the last top pop culture reference he's heard. Oh, my God. That's the most recent I, thing you think of is Khloe Kardashian. So, seriously? please lock it in. Zoomers, if you want to know what's fucking in the pop culture right now, I'm telling put you, in pop Khloe Kardashian. Never, that, that I got to pee. You talk to chat. I got to pee. Right. So I bad. have never been so disappointed oh. as when I found out that Hudat bought Brandon dinner for the privilege of taking Brandon to the airport. That was complete and total bullshit. I, I, yeah, I was disappointed. I was, I was actually mad. That's probably the maddest I've ever been to Brandon was taking advantage of someone who went out of his way to be a good person and, uh, and take him to the airport. And if you don't know, uh, we were out there for a Grand Prix in Austin last year. I wound up going to a Texas Roadhouse or some steakhouse like that. I think it was Texas Roadhouse. And uh, we're standing in line to get in the, in the restaurant, and we saw Houdat and a bunch of his friends. And I apologize, I don't remember everyone else that was there. Yeah, I'm actually drunk. <laughs> what? I'm actually drunk. Yeah, me too. Oh. Let's go driving. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get uh, some tacos. But uh, yeah, I, I, I just water. think I just think Houdat's a great person. And what you know, so he's a good guy. I like Houdat a lot. He's a great guy. And I also and respect so Houdat. If you don't know, speaking of grind, that guy gets up early. Works a full day at the grocery store, packing bags and shit, and then streams. And that's hard as hell. Yeah. I know because just doing that in video, which is a fucking white collar, not too hard job, was hard. It was hard as hell to do it every day. And he does it with the grocery store. And that's fucking difficult. Who that? We're going to buy your ticket from Texas to Las Vegas. I'm not buying shit. Brandon's buying it. <laughs> I, have, I have access you to Brandon's me account. Chipotle. No. Hey, uh... They can figure out who I am, right? What do you mean? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Who that? You know me, right? <laughs> who that? You find me. You can find me. You're not an idiot. Find me. We're going to get your ticket to Las Vegas for uh, Formula One Las Vegas. You're going to stay with us. You're going to bring a girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever. I don't care. I love it. You come out, who that? It'd be fun. 
You come out. Love to have Just you. yourself, though. Don't bring anybody else. You bring one person. You can't bring anybody. Don't bring Robin. Robin don't bring Ring. Don't bring Robin, Nick Nang. Robin's this girl. Don't bring nobody Robin else. Guy. It's Robin one kid. person. That's it. That's a tip. Uh, we'll get some Evan Gow, you're also available. Evan Gow, you can come too. <laughs> Stephen Hunt, is it Hunt? How you Stephen's not coming. He's a hard worker. That guy's a grinder. He's His dad pushes him. Stephen's a he is a hard worker. All right, four thousand of our closest friends. Everyone in chat can come too. No. All right, we got to be careful. We're getting, I'm getting drunk. I'm going to say something I don't need to say. Chat, I I want to appreciate you. It's ten o'clock. Thank you for watching. Let's do one more question. All right, well, it's so much fun. It's great. It's a good time, but I want to go get some tacos. We can get tacos later. You ever call him H Rock or only Brandon? That's a dumb question. I call uh, him Brandon. Um, I call I call him Brandon, and then I correct myself and call him H Rock in case some of them don't know him. I don't. I've already said it. It's Brandon. It's Brandon. Dude, I remember the worst, the worst I ever felt. You think it would be about this recent drama or whatever, but actually, it was when I defended my friend E E. Who uh, he cheated on a game show for Miskiff, and I I defended him because I know the guy and I know he's a good guy. I know he made a mistake, and I defended him. And then people in the Miskiff fandom started calling Nvidia and trying to get me fired, and I was so scared because my boss talked to me. He's like, "Hey, people are calling about," and it was so ridiculous. They were like saying all sorts of crazy shit. It made me, I was, I was so scared because I was like, I love this job. And yeah, that I'm way more than I feel with the new stuff. That was so weird. They were calling um, the the hotline and it's a crazy job streaming. I got to be honest with you. It's a cra- People are wild out there. Yeah. They're wild, man. They don't, they don't got a limit. That, uh, <sighs> I know. I, I because of course I'm gonna support you no matter what, and, I, and, and uh, you hit a, a rough spot, and you know it, it's. I mean, not everybody has this, but you mm. had. You knew that no matter what you did, mom and I are gonna support you because we love you, and and we knew that you had some heart, uh, hard. Well, oh, oh yeah, the thing I want to go back to was yeah, fucking get some sleep. <laughs> Get, I mean, I know you guys know, stream hey, and you guys play you guys game. It's my biggest flaw. It's get some goddamn. It is actually sleep. my biggest flaw. I feel so. So stupid. the thing that is, the thing that happened was. That's for everyone in chat. Get some everyone sleep. Everyone in chat. Bro. Get some sleep. Get it. It's so important in your mental health to get some sleep. Get. It is. Get. So I I watched a quote and it said the number of people who can function on six hours or less of sleep. <sighs> Rounded to a whole number expressed as a percentage is zero. <laughs> it's and it's no bullshit. You have to sleep. Yeah. So th- when the thing about you broke back in January, you know had, I have my, I have this. I don't want to get into it, but I, I have this sleep tracker. I wear this. I wear this. I wear this every night. A sleep tracker. Yeah. It was two weeks of red when that. Yeah, yeah, so that I mean, it was the worst two so weeks you, of sleep I ever had on record. You, well, no, but the thing was, was, about your first apology video—that's what I want yeah. to talk about. So you are up all day streaming, and then something discovers that oh, you had an open tab, whatever, and then you didn't—you continued not to sleep. You did your big apology video, which is a, a total meltdown. Yeah, because you hadn't slept in forty-eight hours. Yeah, you had—I mean, you had zero mental health. You had no idea what you were saying. You were, we're, we're, we're you're beyond <laughs> drunk. You're stupid. I'm in a bad spot. Not, you're in a bad hey, spot. Hey, all right, all right, all right. I've, they're very nice to you, Dad. Hey, you, Chad, thanks for watching. No, we're not done. No, we're done. Next question. I, I know, we're not done. Questions. One more question. I'm, no more questions. I never. I know you're having fun. All right. Is it really bonding well, experience? The moment you looked at your dad as a superhero. I remember. A superhero. Oh. When my, I mean, honestly, I talked about it already. The t- part of my dad got the wood floors. That was superhero. That was superhero? Because I thought it was impossible. They were they we they stonewalled us. Me and Doug talked to them and we're like, hey, you promised us wood floors. We have the shittiest carpet, and then you came in and you didn't even yell at them. You just fucking talked to them and we got the wood floors. So that was sick. And then I remember whenever you got a stand sixty four, that was a real superhero moment because I you went and waited in line all night. And then I remember um what else do I remember? You know what's so funny? What? Is uh, 
the the superhero events that you think you're being a superhero yeah. are not the ones you remember. What do you mean? Like it's like yeah, this it's is the one from you and me. Yeah, like, it's the one that oh certainly Brian's gonna remember this, and I, I obviously I yeah. can't remember what what I would, I'm talking about. I was like, this is the one that Brandon's going to remember me for. And it, you're not remembering him. But it's the wood floors, which yeah. to me is insignificant. Yeah. The Nintendo 64, which I barely remember. Yeah. So it's just... It's a, what do you remember? What's like your big one? Those well, so, ones... so the one I remember... Um, going to Atlanta to pick you up when you'd gotten arrested. Yeah, that was a big moment. I remember I was so shocked that you you were nice to me when you landed. You showed up from the airport, and I was like, he's going to be so mad, and he just gave me a hug because the world was against me at that time, and you, that was really nice. That was really nice. I remember that very much, uh, but I, that's not like the biggest moment to me because I honestly, I'm not kidding. I'm not lying to you. I'm not exaggerating. I truly, I just took a sip of water, put it back. I thought I'd get it. I swear to God, I'm it wasn't. More disappointed I didn't tonight. think about it. I didn't I'm think about it so much. Tonight it's like so crazy. Yeah. They fucking grabbed me. They two officers grabbed me and dragged me to the back room. And I had a twenty dollars. I said, "I'll pay for it." I'm so sorry. And they were like, "No, mandatory, too mandatory." Late. Too late. It's. Cr- I mean, it was crazy. I'm, I'm, uh, I was yeah. in a full. I was and surrounded I by fourteen guys care. in business suits. I don't care. And they grabbed me. White privilege. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is, I feel for the business owner. Dude, you don't know. It was probably a fucking big bit. It was a 7-Eleven. No, the guy owned one store. He's trying to grind it oh, out for his, for his wife and Oh, my God. I bought stuff from him. I bought marked up Starburst. Yeah. She didn't buy the water. It's just and crazy. And you put it back. Ah, that's terrible. It's most, crazy. Most he wouldn't listen to me. It's crazy that I was like, bro, I'm so sorry. I swear but, to God. But one thing. Yeah. When the world is against you. Yeah. Now or forever. The world is against you. You know, mom and I are always gonna love you. Of course, of course, of course, we love you no matter what. I love these two like I they were my own parents. <laughs> I love you like my own kid. I like. All right, we're gonna get tacos. Chat, thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. I'm getting yeah, way too a drunk. Great night. Let's do one more shot, and then we'll call it a night. <laughs> and then let's do one more shot. Ask me one more question. No, no more question. Come on, one more question. You, I'm more does of a who, lightweight. Does who? Does who have a question? Did your coworkers ever watch you all the time? It was so bad at NVIDIA by the end. But when I finally quit NVIDIA, which is about eight months ago now, people were, I was getting messages every day from interns. There were so many NVIDIA interns that just started. And they were like, I started NVIDIA because I watched your stream. I love your stream. Uh, Gl- Glarketer. <laughs> I mean, it was bad. And they were like, How they were. How did that happen with What? Uh, it's so stupid. It's because it's because my hands. Glitzy hands. And I have much glitzy. bigger hands. You have much bigger hands. You get hands. In the, you and then I like marketing. And it was bad. I mean, it was like, because I was trying, I tried so hard to be, I remember um, this guy, Jesse, he posted about my Hitman world record in the NVIDIA You had a group. world record in Hitman? I had a world record. For and he posted about it, and second. I was like, delete this. I messaged him privately, I was like, delete it. I'm trying to be serious. I want to be a serious employee here at this company, and you're talking about my fucking Hitman world record, delete it. And he's like, well, okay, I deleted it. And, and I was like, and I was trying to keep it separate so hard, but everyone kept watching my stream. And then all these new guys would just talk about fucking memes in the group, in the, in the, it was, it was all the time. And I was like, all right, I, gotta, I just got to quit. Cause it's, there's no way I could do both. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm drunk. Hey, I, 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 thanks for watching. We're going to end. No all more right, questions. Come on. Night, guys, night, night, night. We're going to do one more I, shot. Hey, I don't get a lot of come by. This is it. Come by. Say goodbye to the law. Love you, master. Coworkers ever watch it. Yeah. Say my, goodbye. My coworkers watch it. Rate the on coworkers watch me. One, at least one. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys supporting. Uh, you know, thanks for supporting my dad and everything. I'll see you in two years when Brandon Bright invites me back. Fuck me. I'm such a lightweight. That's like 10 shots. I'm, I'm it's drunk. It's like your 21st birthday, man. <laughs> it's a good time. I need some tacos. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I very much appreciate your support. Sincerely, both me and Ari do. Ari talks to me all the time. She watches the stream. She loves the chat. Um, Are you watches? She watches. She watches all my videos. She tells me. I want to see the the uh, YouTube video of this. She's like, don't do any more Hitman stuff. Only do hit marketing. And I was like, people like the Hitman stuff. Uh, oh, how about that thing we got for Christmas for your Hitman? That was pretty awesome. Right there. It's in my background. You're getting out of the way. Atrioc, right there. 
I made this. You did My mom made it. You didn't oh, do shit. shit. You have zero artistic bones in your body. Who do you think you made the frame, dumbass? You made the frame. Oh, you went to I fucking... the frame and I put the You didn't do there. shit. I give all credit to my sweet mom. And by the way, I have a great mom too. You guys didn't see her on the stream. She's a little shyer. She loves the chat too. She's probably watching this whole fucking thing. She's only watching... She watched till 9 o'clock. She went to bed. She went to bed. But she's a great woman. And I love her to death. She She's never doubted me, not even once. Even though this guy did, she never, one hundred percent. She's ride or die. I doubt you for from, since day one. Even when I had no job and I was living at home, she knew a hundred percent. She's the, my mom is a queen. <laughs> I just want to tell you, history no, not revisionist history. She never doubted me. She is a hundred percent. I love that woman. You made a right choice. Who that? Who idiot? Quack for the video, please. If we do a video, please cut that out. You're, that's the dumbest. You please, you're so stupid. Oh, you're gonna get so many dumb emails. I can, I can eat. I can delete oh, them. Oh, you're, so <laughs> you're so stupid. You're so stupid. Oh, you're so stupid. Oh, you don't get it. There's like thousands of people. You're so stupid. No, I've been getting fucking job applications for Foot Walker for four years. Cause somebody email once, my I, second email at one time, and I've been getting job applications for Foot Locker. I never thought about Foot Locker. That's a great uh, job. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you better fucking work there. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry. Good night. End of stream. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for watching. I'm not rating anybody. Watch everyone. Goodbye.